everybody, it's Az here with Mythic Games and we are playing some Solomon Kane. Uh, with me today is Babis. Hey Babis. Hello. And we've got Deal. Ahoy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's very fitting for what we're about to exactly, do Exactly. Yeah. Well done. Man. Uh, not planned at all, that was great. So we're going to play some Solomon Kane. We're going to be playing through a few sample chapters from Blue Flame of Vengeance. This is one of the adventures you get in the core box with Solomon Kane. So spoilers ahead a little bit for the kind of story you're going to be getting. But of course, we'll not be showing everything off. There's going to be lots of things for you to get your teeth into. So you don't need to worry too much. A couple of things before we get started. First of all, we are playing with the prototype still. So we only have a, a prototype board in front of us here. And we have four sample chapters, but of course it's eight to ten, so you kind of normal uh, act length. So this is just to give you guys a bit of a, a feel. We're not showing mm -hmm. the full thing. Uh, we are playing three players, um, and I'm playing with two game devs. <laughs> you guys have actually been working on this for the past few days, getting it kind of ready, adding some extra mm -hmm. flair to it. So you guys know this inside and out. Yes. I have played this one time. It didn't go amazingly, it kind of went a bit, I thought we were doing really well and then it kind of took a turn for the worse. It was, so I'm curious to see all the things that I didn't see the first time. But we will all kind of be throwing suggestions out about what we should think we were doing. But you guys, you kind of know a lot of what's in there. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll be kind of, you guys might have to be keeping stum a little, whereas <laughs> I'll be kind of throwing stuff out to sure. try and get us along. But generally we'll all be working together to try and drive the story forward. Um, with the three players we have, Prudence is our fourth yes. virtue. So she is not going to be taking part, but the Prudence deck is sitting on the table beside us here. So we have over here, we have Prudence's cards available for us to basically use one time. Mm -hmm. o obviously over the course of an entire act, you probably have to be a little more careful. We're only playing a few chapters, so we might use these a little bit more than yeah. just to give ourselves <laughs> a little boost if needed. Why not? So who are you playing as, Babis? I'm playing as Courage. Cool. So uh, I embody the courage that Solomon Kane needs to master. Before he does what he does. Before he does what he does, yeah. he dispatches <laughs> the evil. True. Deal? I'll be playing as Temperance today. And just supporting these two guys. Cool. Um, justice is talk and courage is movement. Love it. And I'm playing as Justice. Ever. This is a nice change for me because I, I remember I was Courage last yeah. time, which, which gave me a completely different focus to what I'm now going to be doing with Justice, which is really nice. I think we should just get going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's so go. let's have the first chapter card. Oh, sorry, actually, before we do that, we should do our decks. You're already you're ahead of yeah. me. Um, so we have 10 card decks. Um, we are playing with the current rule book, which you guys have available on the Kickstarter page. Um, there are some other play testing things and different things like weapon ranges and other added elements that are still being play tested with. But we're going to be essentially playing with the exact rules as you guys have them in the PDF as of today, mm -hmm. um, when this video comes out. So we so have the five cards, five top ones. Yeah. And we choose whether we want to begin with that set of cards okay. or the other one. So the one I drew, I have some move, some move, justice, some talk, some light, and some c compassion. Now, do I get to look at these ones before yes. I decide? Yes, yes, you can. So my other option would be to place justice, have a bit of move, and a bit of talk. Um, I always like having the option to place my virtue. Mm -hmm. So I'm leaning towards keeping that as my starting hand. And then the other five, I just shuffle and become my deck. Yes. Okay. okay. So that's what I'll be drawing from. Um, I'm going for that as well. So I'm going for a movement, a movement card and a placing card. Um, so okay. I think it's the it's a, a good tactics yeah, to begin with. I'm going to grab an explore or talk to give uh -huh. us a bit of flexibility. So whatever comes up, we can kind of deal with. And I'll also go with placing my virtue. That's really good. What about you, Dale? I'm going to have a, a card that allows us to up clarity by one. Okay. And another card which allows us to manipulate the darkness deck, okay. which might be useful. Yeah. Awesome. One thing I learned really harshly, and I'm going to meta game a little bit here, where we place our cards on outside of the board is more important than I realized since the last time I played. It is. The darkness cards and event cards can really affect these. So I'm going to make a decision with you now. What side of the board have you put your place of virtue on? I'd say that I placed it on the right hand slot. I placed mine on the left. That's good. So hopefully, mm -hmm. if, something, if everything goes really badly, we don't end up losing both. Precisely. As, as a little meta game thing, but it's something <laughs> I've learned from a couple of games. This is called contingency planning, I think, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm with you, man. Um, so we then have our hand of three, which is essentially we, we keep, and then we have a deck, which we'll mm -hmm. be then drawing from. Precisely. Okay, so let's have the first chapter. There you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So this is Blue Flame of Vengeance. At this point, what we could do is open up the storybook and get into some more detail, but I'll just give that to you guys once we've had a look at the first card. So, here we go. 
Solomon Cain's hawk-like gaze monitors a mysterious ship at anchor off the south coast of England. Some men come to the beach and Cain observes them fight a duel to first blood. Although the winner is far from satisfied, the magistrate puts a stop to the fight. Afterwards, Cain talks to the winner, Jack Hollister. He's a hot-headed young sea captain, incensed at the insult dealt his beloved Mary Garvin by his opponent, Sir George Banway. Now, we actually have two options immediately. So we can have Cain accompany young Jack on his way home. So we stay with Jack and kind of find out more about what's been going on with him, why he was fighting Ban Wei, and obviously mm -hmm. the slight with Mary. Or we could seek to learn more about the mysterious ship that we saw off anchor. Now, the story book will tell you a little bit more about Blue Flare and Vengeance. First of all, about Jack and Mary. This is not the first time George Banway's got himself into a bit of a stick. He's a noble. He's a little bit up himself. Yeah, he he thinks himself better than everyone. He likes to kind of put his hands on things and take land that doesn't necessarily belong to him. He's a, not a nice guy. So Jack is really understandably a bit peeved. Yeah. So he's the kind of guy that Solomon would go and deal with, or at least have a stern talking to to find out what's going on. So this is Jack, actually, let me show off Jack. So this is Jack Hollister himself. This is the young uh, captain who essentially we have the option now to go and kind of spend some time with and find out more about why they were fighting, why the duel was taking place. However, the ship is a ship that Solomon thinks is being captained by the fish hawk. This is Jonas Hardrecker. This is someone who Solomon Cain has been fighting, or sort of fighting, searching for a long time. And he has a long history with Jonas when they used to actually be in the same fleet together. But since then, Jonas has done some really seedy things, including murdering a girl that's a friend of, uh, the daughter of a friend of Solomon. And Solomon actually has his own agenda, uh, separate from Jack, yeah. to try and find Fishhawk. And Fishhawk, of course, is this gentleman here. A little bit of, of hints ahead. So we now have to make a choice. We either um, go with Jack Hollister and find out a bit more about his beloved and the slight that George Banway has done and decide if there's some action that we need to take, or we stay on the course to go and um, find Jonas. It, as much as I like Jack, I think we should go find out about this pirate ship. Stick to the original agenda. Mm -hmm. I don't really agree with that. <laughs> you, you're, not, you're not romantics at all. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, no, no. I mean, Jack Collinser has proven that he, he can defend he yeah. himself and his honor. Mm -hmm. So okay. he, he can go uh, uh, to his home freely without getting obstructed, I think. Okay. Hopefully. So we'll seek to learn more about the ship. So we'll maybe ask Jack and then we'll go on to the next chapter yeah. and find out what else we can learn about the ship. True. Okay, so I will pass you this chapter back. And we simply move on to the next chapter. Oh, sorry, which chapter was it actually? I didn't even look. It is to be. To be? Okay. To be or not to be? Definitely to be. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. So to be. Jack knows not of the ship, so Cain takes to the gunwheel, the dockside tavern where Banway committed his transgression. Now this transgression, sorry, now this is a scene and we have a list of things we're going to have not seen, a large list of things. So actually let me bring this up. So we need Solomon Cain. You've actually already started doing it. Here we go. No. So Solomon Cain needs to be on the board. We need the barkeep. We need a waitress. Mm -hmm. uh, we need an old lady. Let me actually show some of these off while you're doing that. So obviously, we know Solomon Cain well. Um, the barkeep is this gentleman here. We then have the waitress, who's carrying her <laughs> lovely roast dinner almost there. We need an old lady. She's kind of got that skirt style. She's not that old, but she's pretty, she's pretty <laughs> angry looking. She doesn't look too pleasant. Mm -hmm. We also need a young kid. And we need a swashbuckler. I just said that with extra, extra swash. Uh, <laughs> swash <buckler. laughs> so I, I didn't even really mean to. Uh, so, Babas, now, again, I'll let you set up the board, Babas, but you would find this in the storybook. This will tell you the layout of the board any time that you have a scene to take place. Now, we also need two shadows. And we need 12 darkness cards, which are going to tell us... Um, how long we have to interact in this scene to try and complete our objective. Let me just uh, get you then to place where they need to go. Now, there's a few other things actually this card tells us we need. We need some discovery cards. So I've got the discovery deck here. So we need discovery cards 200 200, 200 to 240. Okay, so this is essentially the 40 cards 
that to find this. That's fine. I actually have that's that's fine. I have these here. Then we also need two two eight to begin in play. That was just making we actually have them sitting ready, which is why that was. We need two three six to two forty. Oh my goodness, we actually have quite a few cards starting in play. Now something the card um, doesn't say specifically, but it's something we're going to be doing because um, it's a little man we have to meet. We're also going to be starting with temperance on the board. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little uh, oversight that we missed on this um, when we have reprinted it. So what do we have then? Best temperance right in the middle yes. there. Okay, so these cards, these discovery cards now, are all related specifically to this scene. And they're gonna tell us a little bit about each of the characters. So we give an example. Here is the swashbuckler. A man with a greasy beard and smarmy attitude is sitting casually with his leather boots on the table. He's chewing something foul as he shifts his gaze among the tavern patrons. Now Solomon Cain may ask what he knows about the local patrons. And what we have, essentially, for every character in this scene is a little card that represents each one of them. And I'm going to place them just alongside the board here. Now, I'm not going to go through them all. We'll kind of approach them as we come. I don't want to spoil them all. But each one's giving us an option to engage with all these characters you see on the board. And right now, they're all looking for talk actions. They're all, we're all looking to kind of interact with them. Not necessarily the way they'll stay. The other thing we have, though, is specifically a discovery card that doesn't relate to the uh, characters, but relates to the scene, the gun wheel itself, and it's something that opens up to everybody. And this card basically, whoops, sorry, there we get the right camera. This is going to allow us to spend determination to talk or move. I know it says gain there, but it basically means we can spend determination to talk or move. Forgive the little bit of prototyping still happening. And this is a common action that will be available during the scene for all of us. Mm -hmm. nice. Like any other action, we can spend dice on it to trigger it. However, we must use uh, determination. Yes. We yeah. can't use wilds for these because it's a single dice. Yes, and it's a once per turn thing. Uh, so each of us can do it once in our turns, but yes. we can't stack multiple. True. Okay, perfect. Good to know. Um, let's see, what else do I need from a chapter card? I think that's everything. We've got the dark. We need the spawn points for the shadows. Now, while Balas is doing that, there are three potential outcomes here. So there is a 3A, a 3B, and a 3C. And you'll see that each one is garnered by how many sort of victory points, or we're going to call them purity for the moment. It's a little playtesting term mm -hmm. that we're throwing around. We're going to call it purity. And depending on how well we do and how much we discover through our talking and how much we find out about the ship and what the goings on in the town is, it's going to garner one of the three chapters that we go into next. So I will give that back to you, sir. Set up all done? Yep. So now we're good to go. So let's have a look at the board. So we have Solomon, we have the old lady, the kid, the swashbuckler, we have the uh, waitress, mm -hmm. and we have the barkeep. We unfortunately have some shadows. Yeah. Because all taverns are a little bit seedy. <laughs> <in the 16th laughs> <century. Exactly. laughs> and there's definitely a feeling of uh, uncertainty mm -hmm. and temperance right now. So everyone looks at Solomon Kane and they are waiting to see what he really wants to do here yeah. in okay. the tower. So no one's, no one's approaching the tall, muscular, scary looking Puritan guy that just walked <laughs> in, they're waiting to Precise. see that. Makes sense, to be yeah. honest. Um, so we now have to kick it off and see what we can find out to see what we can get on the old uh, fish hawk. Who wants to go first? So essentially we need to move first. Mm -hmm. um, I can move with three dice, but I think Babis, you can do that more efficiently. I can I can move with two and two dice. Yeah. I can move two spaces and one space as well. So we've also got the uh, communal we've also move. Got the communal um, move. And we've got Prudence's cards, but shouldn't need them hopefully just yet. Uh, I have an explore two or talk two as one of my cards, which okay. Talk two will be good. Yeah. So talk two turns out this can be really useful now, which yeah. is great. Um, so I could definitely go second or third to do some talking. So I'll go first and donate some dice to both of you. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want to so go second? Yeah, do you mind if I go second and then you go third? That, yeah, hmm? that is good with me. Okay, awesome. let's see how this turns out. Okay, so essentially, Dale, you're going to try and get us either moving if you get lucky in your roll exactly. or donate some dice exactly. if not. Okay. Okay. okay, I've got two bravery and one determination. Um, so I can't move. Oh, you're not that far away from it. You nearly rolled it. You, you can't. Really Oh yes, you can use the move here. Ah, of course, yes. You're determined. Mm -hmm. And yes, the, I, the br if you're willing to move there, my I would love the bravery. That would actually be really helpful for me. Do you need any bravery, Bubba? Yes. It okay, it I'll, do help me I'll donate one, one to each. Thank you. And I'm going to use my much. determination to move one. Okay, so this is on the communal card. So mm -hmm. essentially, where would you like to move, Solomon? 
one would take us right next to the, the, the child. Either the kid or the old lady, mm -hmm. either so here, here or there. So being, if we, we how, how close do we have to be to talk to them? Mm -hmm. uh, we just need to be adjacent to them, okay? Uh, it seems a little, it seems a little out of character to just walk in and start instantly talking to the kid, but he's mm -hmm. closest, uh, so I have no problem with going and chatting to him first. Or, um, it, purely for me, because he is the one, interestingly, who's least surrounded by potential threats and dangers. Yeah. He's the most kind of innocent and pure in the tavern right now, whereas the barkeep and the old lady are surrounded by shadows. So I'd be quite happy to yeah. come towards him. Yeah, let's do that. Let's um, do that. Any preference to here or here? Yeah, let's go here. Now, one thing I actually haven't mentioned is that there are points of interest on this table. We will highlight these a little bit more clearly in the final co copy of the game. Um, but these tables here, here and here are actually points of interest for the waitress. And she is in sentry mode. So she is yeah. actually going to act by moving to those points of interest. So she actually will be traversing around the bar. The other important thing to note about the tables is we can't move through them and neither can virtues nor shadows. They're going to essentially act as um, blocking terrain. So that's these four tables. Okie dokie. Yeah. Darkness turn. Fantastic. Is that over? All right, give us some badness, Babis. <laughs> What's the bad news? Okay, so. Yeah, I'll grab one from you just there so we can go. see. So, just to show everyone at home. So, we have a story section at the top, which we don't need to worry about because we're in a scene. We then have a section about anyone adjacent to Solomon. In the near section. Um, so, there's no scouts or sentries or shadows or hunters adjacent to us. We are, at the moment, just surrounded by virtues and mortals. So, we can go right past that. Uh, we then have non-adjacent characters, so a sentry will move three to the nearest non-adjacent point of interest. So this is our sentry waitress, mm -hmm. as denoted by the uh, chapter yeah. card, it tells us this. So the farthest, the point, farthest, the farthest uh, point of interest for her is that space, so yeah. that table, because it is one, two, three spaces yeah. away. This table is two spaces away, yeah. and this one is... two. Three as well. Two, three as well. Mm -hmm. So we can make the choice between yes. those two. I'd say we bring her towards us, and hopefully we can we actually. Yeah, I we, agree. we can make the decision when yeah. it's equal. Um, just to here then. She will not or jump on top of the table. Does it say <laughs> up to three or? Uh, it does say uh, moves. Yeah, up to three. Yeah, so we can move her just beside us. Mm -hmm. so Perfect. I like yeah, I like that a lot. Um, then we have the shadow furthest from Solomon. Is actually going to move two to try and engage him. So which shadow's furthest? Th they're both three away? They're both three away. Um, so I would recommend maybe moving this one because I don't want to potentially pop temperance yeah. at this point. Okay. Um, yeah, are you guys okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yes, so does it move two? It'll move two. Keep in mind that once the shadow mm -hmm. stays, uh, so lands on a space with, a different with another mortal, yeah. that mortal will not be able to perform any kind of action okay. or respond to any kind of action. Right. So there, she's essentially like frozen in fear or kind of overwhelmed Pre by just uh, someone walking on your grave, kind of Pre chill. Kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would prefer that to potentially losing uh, losing the temperance or increasing the danger. Okay. Well, right now the danger level is fairly low. Yes, three it's at the moment. Three. What yeah. do you guys? I think, think we can take afford to take a danger hit. Yeah, so are you guys thinking then moves yeah. going one, two, but getting the shadow to yeah. stop yes. so you are repelling the shadow? Yeah. I'm okay with that. It'd be yeah. good to speak to the waitress uh, or the boy to have that choice. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. good with that. No, no, that mm -hmm. makes sense to me. Okay. So the, the shadow will move one, but as, as it tries yeah. to enter the space with temperance, Dale, that plays temperance, decides to ward it off mm -hmm. at the cost of one increasing danger. danger so danger is moving one. from three to four. Okay. Yeah. Happy yeah no, I actually, I actually like that better than what I was originally saying. So that's fine. Um, hunters, we don't have any, and scouts, we don't have any. So that's nope. everything done with the first darkness card. So that's good. All right, Babis. You're up. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. What can courage do? Okay. So. So you've got the determination you need for the global talk, which is nice. Yes. To be honest with you. I really wish to donate that to you yeah. as, and I'll be spawning courage, so manifesting her on okay. the tavern with three dice. Okay. Because we definitely need much more control. Sure. Hmm? So I could potentially get two talks off yeah. if I roll well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, you can only do this once. Ah, so but I have you here ah, as well. Okay. Hopefully, Great. hopefully. So I'm going to place courage yeah. on an empty space. Do you think that I, I would say that, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. 
So just trying to give us more options for either taking taking the shadows out or yeah. making them go around or right. yeah. Because keep in mind that this distance and this distance is the same. Yeah. Yeah. So effectively we can ward it off if we right. wish. So that's me done. I'll I'll be discarding this card mm -hmm. because it has been used. I'll be replacing one for my hand. For my hand. Yeah. That's me done. So I turn it. Darkness guard. Side. Darkness guard. Yeah, you can go ahead for this one yeah. either way. So as far as the near uh, characters are um, concerned, we have a sentry that moves one mm -hmm. to the farthest point. Okay, so one, two, three to that point of interest. One, two to that one. So it's basically towards the far corner mm -hmm. there. She'll make her way towards that table. Mm -hmm. And we also got... Uh, Get back here, I want to talk to you. The shadow closest to Solomon Cain yeah. moves one to threaten him. Okay, so there, this one is two away, this one is three away. So mm -hmm. this one will try and move in again. Mm. What do you think now, Temperance? So uh, now no. we're on four, which means if we go to five on the danger track, we are able to have three shadows Yeah, that's pretty board. bad. I mm. would kind of be more... We Trying to let it. It may sound barbaric a bit, but I think that you have served your purpose. <laughs> 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 no, I, we were fortunate enough to start with Temperance on the board, so okay. I'm willing to to repel both. Okay. To to make the the shadow vanish okay. this time. So Temperance okay. sacrifices her her essence. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Clears the board a little bit. That's mm -hmm. all right. Uh, to be honest with you, keeping a shadow at bay at this point, I'm very happy with. Yeah, that's good. So uh, we also get to spawn. X. We get to spawn. spawn. Yeah. Oh, you, whose side are you on, Bubbis? <laughs> as people know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm for darkness. Yeah. Yeah. That's us. That's okay. it done. Okay, over to me then. So I will. I've got a bravery and a determination already. Thanks to you guys, the nations. And I just showed triple faith. Uh, faith, faith, faith. Okay. You gotta love the donated dice. Yeah. So let's. So if I want to do the uh, generic one, I have to use a determination for that. Um, I could, I could actually, I could talk twice. So I would use my determination mm -hmm. for this uh, this card. I would then, I'll just show it off here. This mm -hmm. is the card for justice that I have, um, with a bravery, a faith, and a pain. And I can use faith, bravery, and then a wild for that pain. Did you reroll your dice? I have not rerolled any yet. Okay. Um, I think talking twice could have me talk to both the boy and that's the really good. That's yeah, great. That's really good. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, hopefully we hustle mm -hmm. up some information. I'm still left with the faith. I can't donate it to you guys, so I'll probably end up just holding it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Or no, you can re-roll it and see what you're going to roll. Well, the other thing I was thinking is because I have placed justice on the board, so I could, instead of trying to talk twice, I could talk once with the communal and then spend three dice okay. to place justice. And then I, we've got justice on the board for all the future talking because clearly we're going to have a lot of talking. Or you can even place justice and get a plus two by her aura. Yeah. On your talk. Yes. I think that that, to yeah. me, I think that. So I'm only going to talk once, but justice will then be present and mm -hmm. hopefully speed things along. So I will use this card. So this is place justice on the board and it's any three symbols at all. And I'm just going to basically use these three. And that'll get discarded, and I will place justice. It has to be an open position, I think, yes. here. I really don't want to pop at any shadow. I don't want her really to get involved in a fight. I want her to help with the conversations okay. and use that plus two talk aura. But mm -hmm. I think I can't put her anywhere else really other than that right now, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. That's, that's great. <laughs> you know, Bob was like, I thought you might have a, You looked like you had a, another uh, thought. As, um, a, as I said, I'm darkness is pawn, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Come I on. can't help it. Um, so now I'll use the cumulative action, so the, the determination, so this is because we're at the gun wheel, this is specific to this chapter, I can talk with a zero test. So yes. the, the minimum possible talk. Um, however, I have plus two with my aura. Mm -hmm. We also currently on the track, I don't know if you guys can see this a little bit, but compassion is currently at seven, giving us a plus one. So I currently have a three. Mm -hmm. And because I'm Solomon Keen, we take an event card and use the nemesis number. Which I'll, I'll grab that use your to reveal. And see, we get a four. So this is so this is the rabble, the villain, and then the nemesis number. So these generally should be the weaker, the middle, and then the strongest. So we end up with a seven. Yes. Um, now what we have to do is compare that number against who we talked to the kid, of course. Oh, I should have said. We we, we never decided. I never decided. Mm. I'm sorry, I jumped ahead. I, I had the kid in my head. We, yeah. we intended on talking to the kid. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. 
So a silent boy sits by the table near the fireplace. He clutches a closed envelope in his hand tightly, giving cautious looks all around him. Solomon may ask the boy about the envelope. When you take a talk test, if your result is, and there's three different options, so we got a seven, which means of these three potential discovery cards, we're going to look at 208. Okay, we'll grab discovery deck. We'll grab 208. So, and I will say, these we will have you know, even more detail on these guys in the final copy. Do you remember these are still just prototypes, but it gives you a, a real feeling. The kid hides the envelope behind his back. Ooh. Uh, nervously smiles at Solomon and introduces himself as Timmy. He claims to be the waitress's son and is here all the time to keep her company. Timmy further mentions that the barkeep looks after him and his ma until his father returns ashore. We attach this card to the barkeep and when we make a talk test, we can ask the barkeep about his connection with Timmy's father. Okay, mm. so we have the barkeep uh, here, so that had three options before, but now uh, we have extra, uh, well, a different conversation. A different path. outcome, yeah. But importantly, this one says, if we talk to the barkeep about Timmy's father, we add our talk and the danger modifier. Yes. So does that mean if, the, if it's really, the danger could potentially actually make the test worse, or if it is very dangerous, it could make it better as well? It can make it better. So if the danger is high enough, yeah then the barkeep will be much more willing mm -hmm. into divulging this kind of information because that's the nature of that information. Okay, awesome. So we didn't gain anything specifically about the ship, but we've got another avenue of conversation. Mm -hmm. yes. um, I can't donate my last dice to you guys. I should have done this first, so I'm just going to simply be reserving this. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to pop down. I've got a move two or a talk five as a potential card I drop. Talk five. Talk, Talk five? five. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are gonna focus on keeping me moving. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and then I will draw a replacement card and we'll have a darkness turn. So we don't have anything near us. Nope. Um, but we do have a shadow. The shadow closest to Solomon Kane yeah. moves one to threaten him. So this one uh, can't move through the table. Oh no, hold on, wait, that's one, two, they're three. They're both three. Uh, one, two, they're both three. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think, I think this one keeps True. it. At bay, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will take its time. The shadow farthest from Solomon Cain mm -hmm. moves to, to threaten him. Oh, sugar. Um, so this one could essentially just go one, two. Mm -hmm. Or it could go one, two. Or we could kind of force it into Courage's space to have Courage interact with it. Yeah, so I can actually ward it, ward it off and increase the danger level by one. What do you guys think? Oh, I don't want to increase the danger. I know. So if we don't do that, uh -huh. then we might be having this yeah. moving here. Yeah. Which I is think not let's, a fan let, of either. Let's risk it, guys. Let's risk but it. Okay, let's take a risk. risk. Yeah. So we're you're going to ward it off, and yes. danger is going to go yes. up one. So danger is now into five, which means we can now have three shadows. Perfect. But once again, let me remind oh. you that. that yeah. I thought spawn X. I thought you were going to no, say no, spawn no, X. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, this stays there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, I took it. Oh, I'm following. No, yeah. the only thing that I wanted to say, given the fact that the game is a cooperative yeah. one, Th as I said in previous videos, oh, yeah. this decision is for the versus player to yeah. make. So my egoistical nature... <laughs> 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 yeah. You don't want to kill shadows is what you're saying. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're a bad man. <laughs> but there's nothing else to be done. So no, no spawning, yeah. nothing whatsoever. Okay, See, that's cool. Easy Perfect. peasy. Nice, easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Things are still calm at the moment on the darkest yeah. run. So that's the end of the round. That's the end of the round. So round two. So we have three darkness cards done, nine darkness yes. cards left. Yes. Um, so I could potentially go first and look to talk immediately mm -hmm. to the, the lady before she mm -hmm. gets away. That would be good. Um, with the talk five. I've got this newfound fear of should she have moved? Yeah, oh. she, she should have moved oh. one. So I'm sorry, guys. No, no, go so ahead and make sure right. A sentry yeah. moves one to the nearest non-adjacent point. So the table just yeah. in front of her here? Yeah, yeah. either here or there. Um, Should we say here? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. no, because this space is adjacent to both of them. Both of them. Mm -hmm. Like it, like it. Um, and it's within your aura as well. Perfect, yeah. yeah. So, oh, sugar, so now I, I don't have the ability to move and talk. So I, I need one I of you guys. I can move Solomon Kane. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You go first. I can go first. I go second. Yeah. Deal third, does that suit? That sounds good. Okay, so I'll take a run. Let's see. 
we have a way to increase compaction too, which would be great. Okay. So very, 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 very kind of deep. I can still have this one. Let me re-roll one die. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna exaggerate a bit. Okay. And use this. What does that do? So I need to move Solomon King two closer to an enemy or objective, given the fact that all townsfolk are objective. Sure. According yeah. to this chapter card. Mm -hmm. Um I can exaggerate and move yeah. Solomon Kane up to two spaces, mm -hmm. which means one here. I'd be okay with you moving him one further because I could bring Justice up behind him and get Justice in an even more central position. Can I'm you okay do that? It brings us near to the barkeep as well. Uh -huh. Do you want me to move yeah. there? Then? Yeah, yeah, because we got the information about mm -hmm. the barkeep, so yes, I okay. am. But this little Timmy told us about the barkeep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this comes at the cost of a minus one strength, yeah. so we're losing one strength. <laughs> See, <laughs> Solomon sometimes needs to exert himself mm -hmm. just for the sake of common good. Mm -hmm. I just imagine he's in the tavern, he just kicks a stool as he's walking up the stool. He's trying to get to the bar, he's trying to play it off all cool, so you're just like... However, I'm going to donate this die to you. Thank you, sir. Because determination is really yeah. needy. That point, so I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'll be replenishing my slot here. Oh, I could have a big Drawing turn here coming. Here. And this is Darkness is uh, my lady's uh, Darkness is turn. Okay. <laughs> so also known as your turn. Yeah, <laughs> my turn. Yes, that's what I said. So my lady's turn. So right. <laughs> you're just waiting for the darkness, and then you yes, just, yes. you're like you're all with the competitive. I love your stitched face. <laughs> so a sentry moves one to the farthest point. Uh, that's fine. So that she's going to come back way. this direction. Mm -hmm. Back yeah. to the bar. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's even better. Yeah. Yeah. The shadow closest to Solomon Kane moves two to threaten him. Nice. So we'll simply just move one. Mm -hmm. And because he's threatening, not engaging, yeah. mm -hmm. he pauses there. Yeah. And spawn X. Uh, we can't There's have three shadows now because somebody really likes darkness. Travis. I, g I, don't, I don't understand <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> and we'll not go into too much detail, but the difference between threaten and engage is threatening essentially is putting the shadow in a position to negative effects upon mm -hmm. our, our yeah. tests and such whereas engaging is trying to trigger something so if a pirate engages you he'll be fighting with you if a shadow engages with you it triggers an event essentially okay cool i am super excited now because i'm hoping whoops lost the dice it's all right did i save it oh i did i saved it um i could potentially get a nice talk five off here and get some really nice information of somebody yeah keep in mind um, justice you need to move yourself over here yes yes uh yes i will do that first no matter what so I got a pain, a fear, and a faith. Um, so I've got what I need for my talk five. I can use any dice to move just as one thanks to my player board. Mm -hmm. um, so let's say, for example, that would use this, this, and this. I've got two dice left over. Mm, I probably donate at least one of them out. Yeah. Um, a faith is always good. Is a wild. Yeah, I don't do we, do we want to move Solomon? Want to move Solomon away from the shadow? Because I could talk and then kind of try and get him a bit more distance and just give us an extra turn, hopefully. But still, we have so many good talking yeah, targets. Uh, we've yeah, got, we've got three talk targets. I think we should stay where we are. Okay, so I'm going to look to talk twice then and get uh, justice into place. Mm -hmm. So I will spend. I'm going to I'm going to flip this dice I rolled from a fear to a bravery. I'm going to spend this one here. Just like that. And this. There. So I've actually got three different actions taking place, and I will donate this to you again. Thank you. So first of all, I will move Justice one space to here to grant that aura. And that dice is gone. Then I will do, who do we want to target then? I, so I have a talk of zero on the communal card, and a talk of five on my own card, which will reduce compassion by one, mm -hmm. which will get rid of the bonus. Exactly. So I think we should talk of zero first, do you think? Yeah, because then we keep mm -hmm. the bonus. Keep the bonus and lose it. And who do we want to most engage with? Do you want to talk about the barkeep, either about his business or Timmy's father, or do you want to talk to the swashbuckler about what he knows about the pirates? I think this is where the difficulty numbers are indicative of what we're expecting okay. to get. So, so it might be a difficult um, matter to breach. I mean, talking yeah. about Timmy's father. So we'd better keep the, the, the five yeah. talk for that, for one? that? Yeah, I agree. Okay. 
I, I just realized we haven't spoken to the waitress at all yet. Yeah. Should we speak to her yeah. again while she's beside us before she wanders off to serve somebody else? Exactly. Yeah. W yeah. While she's free, let's let's have a chat. Okay. So a zero for the the waitress, a five for the barkeep. Mm -hmm. that that's that's great. Yeah. Okay. So we'll resolve this one first. So mm -hmm. a talk of zero, which, on the waitress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which gets augmented by plus two. Yeah. From you. Yeah. Your aura and plus one mm -hmm. from the compassion. Okay. Minus one for the shadow. Great. So. That's two, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now let me have a look at her card actually says, um, a pretty wench with a charming smile offers Solomon a tankard of grog as he approaches. <laughs> um, so we actually have to take discovery card 209. Uh, hold on a second, let me get that. Uh, tankard of grog. Grog, man, like seriously, it's like, it's like pirate gruel. <laughs> uh, with a wry smile, the waitress hands Solomon the tankard of grog. Before making a talk test, you can discard this card to get plus two bonus to a talk, but minus one clarity as you get a little uh, <laughs> that's great. tongue tied, a little, little yeah. tipsy. Um, so that's something that any of us can use. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, so yes, so sorry, forgive me. I did that in the middle of everything. So we were on talk two, talk two plus a nemesis bonus. So the nemesis number is six. Excellent. Wow. Awesome. So that's eight. So on the waitress card, again, she has a little thing that says, Solomon may ask the young lady whether she's heard any rumours around town. And we got the best one. We actually get two discovery cards, 202 and 203 for getting higher than six. So 202, 203. Okay. Does it matter which order we look at these in? Do them in order? No. No, it doesn't matter? No, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm, I'm going to be 203, 202 first because <laughs> I'm, I'm pernickety. Um, okay, so she leans beside Solomon's ear as she whispers some words about her boss, the barkeeper. Apparently the brawny man used to be a mercenary a couple of years ago. Since he took charge of the tavern, the place has become a meeting point for many no-good folk. Attached this to the barkeep when you make a talk test, you may ask about his shady enterprise. Uh, you can do a talk test and if courage is spawned, you get an extra two bonus to that. So now the barkeep actually, we can question him about the bar and how his business is. We can talk to him about Timmy's father, or we can talk to him about his shady enterprise. <laughs> That's actually the most intriguing thing to me <laughs> by yeah. far. And um, we also get a benefit because I'm standing next to Solomon, so I'm here, I'm, I'm courage, so I can give plus two mm -hmm. awesome. to that talk check. Uh, we have something else though, um, she, she's given up some more information. Uh, she, looks, uh, she looks behind her shoulder at the old lady, Lucrezia Bates, a vile harridan. She doesn't mention much other than the old crone's involvement with the local market. Apparently she's a front woman for a local <laughs> weapon <laughs> smuggling cartel. We can attach this to the old lady and we make a talk test with her. We can talk about her nature, uh, the nature of her visits to the tavern. And if justice is spawned, um, we'd get an mm -hmm. extra plus two for that. that. Okay, that's interesting as well. That's crazy. I, I have to say two things. The waitress divulged yeah. a lot of just information. Yeah. gave up the goods. <laughs> yeah. um, thankfully, if that had been a two or something much worse, getting a six there actually yeah. paid dividends. Um, and the good thing is that we're both there, so both courage and justice is, is are spawned. Yeah. And those two matters that the waitress actually spoke yeah. of work well. Work well with us. So are we kind of, for now at least, forgetting where the Timmy's father line because dangerous. If, if it gets more dangerous, that could become more true. If a fight breaks out in the bar, mm -hmm. yeah. he's going to maybe give up the goods on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I still have a talk five to do. The minus one compassion, I assume that happens first because I'm paying for the card. Yeah, so as a cost. So we're going down to six, which means we lose that plus one mm -hmm. bonus to compassion mm -hmm. when we're talking, but that's okay. Um, who are we going to aim this target five at now? I um, want to say the barkeep. I think it has he, to There's a lot of rumours pointing towards him. We don't have any information on the swashbuckler mm -hmm. yet. So is it the swashbuckler would have been my first target. Yeah. <laughs> but because the kid was right there, it makes sense the time. I still want to talk to the swashbuckler, mm -hmm. but now I have, because if I had to choose between Timmy's father and the swashbuckler, I think I would have gone swashbuckler. Mm -hmm. But now because you've got shady enterprise, yeah. like that's, that's, there's too much potential goodness there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're using the best talk card in the game, so. Talk five is the highest? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, so talk five, um, we get six, seven, from the bonus of justice being there. Courage is on the board, which means we're going to go to nine. Minus one. For the shadow, so mm -hmm. eight. eight. Um, I mean, I don't know if there's an event card that's going to really do much damage to us, but let's see yeah. what, what number we add on. 
three. So we go to 11. 11. Mm -hmm. So well, let me find the bar. Now, do we reference Barkeep's card or do we reference the other one? We reference the one that we're chatting. Yeah. The the we we reference exactly. the conversation part. Yes. Okay. Um, so if we get six or more, we go to 216. I want to find out about the, the gun market cartel. <laughs> that was completely that was completely new to me. Actually, that that was unexpected. Um, okay, so the barkeep, he nods, smiling. Uh, we all have our price, Puritan. Thieves, scoundrels, and pirates—they all come to me for information and assistance. You name it, and I can get it done. If you have the coin, of course. On a roll, the barkeep continues to boast, foolishly providing Solomon with key information and names that will surely lead him to the pirate ship. Yes. Uh, an imperceptible smile forms upon Solomon's lips. The barkeep's information has been free this time. <laughs> uh, we remove 202, so that was, well, that's the card that we basically yeah. tested yeah. against, so we can't do that again, that makes sense. Um, we get plus two purity, plus two victory points. That's great. Fantastic. Final. But because we've inquired about shady business, we have to increase the danger by one, yeah. which now puts danger at six. You want to do your little danger dance? <laughs> 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 it's like the safety dance for the complete episode. <laughs> danger dance. Um, and then I assume we just discard this as well. Yes. This but for now we, oh, we, have two, oh, we have two yeah, points. We can keep okay. it for reference for yeah. two points. Yes. So that's... Basically we're halfway there. So mm -hmm. if we manage to find two more purity, than purity points, then we got the best result. Wicked. I'm so happy. And the barkeep, we could still question the barkeep yeah, about... about Timmy. Yeah. About his, Timmy's dad mm -hmm. or about his business yeah. as two more lines. Okay. Which is really good because divulging information about the pirate ship has increased the danger level, ah, yeah. which leads us closer to getting the best result from the bar for, uh, from that. Mm -hmm. Then it's maybe a little yeah. less dangerous to talk about family than it is about shady business. So hopefully talking about that. Oh, you just made a no, face no, then. No, no, no. I mean, I mean for Timmy's father. So. But I'm hoping that if we do that well, the danger will not increase. It will only be... Maybe I can say anything. <laughs> Playing with game devs, guys. Playing <laughs> with game devs. Um, okay, that was my turn. Uh, Darkness is going to get a turn. That was awesome. That, that was, was really nice. A turn. really productive turn. It, yeah, it was fortunate that we both decided to virtue early yeah. because with that. But see, with the first five cards I got, I kind of leant towards the virtues as the safe. It just really, mm -hmm. really went well. Yeah. So. Uh, a sentry moves two to the farthest point. So she's two away from this one. She is two, two, two away from that two, one. Two, 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 one. Uh, so we can choose out of these three. Let's not put her into the shadow. Mm -hmm. So put her old lady, yeah. yeah. Let's let's try our luck with the old lady. Mm -hmm. Okay. One shadow mm -hmm. or hunter engages an adjacent mortal. Here okay. we go. So we're going the to get an event. Down. There's nothing we can, he, we've left. We've left an opening. Mm -hmm. so Final. I mean, uh, yeah, let's, let's get an event, let's draw an event card. I'll grab so that just to show, because anyone that hasn't seen it before, so this is what an event looks like. Now we're not worrying about the numbers for the test, we're actually looking ahead. So we have minus one light on the next chapter, not something we have to worry about for this one. However, the players have to choose to either have minus one strength, clarity, or compassion. It's clear to me that we're not really having to explore the tavern. The tavern's open to us to mm -hmm. chat to people, so I'm willing to put clarity down. Yeah, I'd agree. I for never sure. want to put strength down, generally mm -hmm. speaking. Yeah. You just never know when that squash buckler is going to like True. pop off. Exactly. So. True. Is that okay? Mm, yeah, that's fantastic. Let's reduce clarity by one. Yeah. It's a highest stat as well, so we it can afford to lose because we've lost compassion already. And the final thing, mm -hmm. okay. the, sh the shadow closest to Solomon Kane moves to to threaten him. Oh, no, he's back. So this one is one, two away. Mm -hmm. This one is has to go around the table. Yeah, so this one's nowhere near. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So this one. We'll go one and then want to enter just as the space. It's up to you. Oh, oh, the me like the no, because <laughs> if it had been you, I would have said sacrifice yourself. <laughs> but, <laughs> but because the talk bonus has been so immense, mm -hmm. the temptation yeah. of betraying your cause. I think, no. it's I think it's really important that we keep justice on the board, yes. especially because she links with the old ladies. Um, oh, the talk about the gun stuff. Yeah, we, we need you. But there. it will put danger to seven. Doesn't matter. We s we can still talk to the barkeep and mm -hmm. get an extra bonus for that. Exactly. You want the danger to go up, <laughs> and you're just using this card as an excuse no, no, to no, hide the, that. No, the only thing is that I'm sensing that the barkeep has a bit rattled. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, has something extra to offer. Uh, 
That might be just me. See, now I'm metagaming, and this is talking to the viewers, ignoring these guys for a second. I don't know if he's genuinely being honest as a game dev to show me some cool stuff yeah. that I've not seen before, or if he's actually playing this out of darkness and it's going to no. cause a tavern brawl. <laughs> 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 What do you mean I'm the boy's father and all of a sudden like there's a big fight? I kind of feel like that's what you might be Honestly, doing. I'm not meta gaming, but I'm a reckless player. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Fishing for courage. I <laughs> will simply repel the shadow yeah. and let the danger go up to seven. Oh, will you? No. <laughs> Stop. I realize I also forgot to replenish my cards in my hand. Okay. Forgive me. I got, I got too wrapped up in an amazing mm -hmm. turn. Um, I have move, increased compassion, or I could place light at the moment. We don't need the light, though, so move or... Compassion increase. You guys are handling the movement pretty C well. Compassion always comes in hand if you can yes. get that. Uh, and I will draw a hit card. Sorry about that. I forgot that during the That's end of okay. my turn. That's okay. Oh, I don't like the danger at seven. We, we, we can use one of Prudence cards to knock danger back down one. I yeah. actually had forgotten about Prudence's mm -hmm. cards. And we have the Grog. Okay. Yeah. Over to you, Joe. My turn. So what are you aiming to do here? Move us somewhere safe? I can move us towards the old lady. Um, or hopefully get a, a, t a the communal talk. Mm -hmm. Or before moving away, just try to talk to the barkeep mm -hmm. before reducing the danger level. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So I'm looking for I'm looking yeah. for de determination. There and I got one. You are determined. <laughs> so I will use the communal talk action, and with my three f faith. Yeah, I'll reroll one first. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, you could put the place prudence on the board. Mm, bam. Or yeah, as is right, we can place prudence on the board. Um, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Is it wasting her? Because we have this situation reasonably under control. Uh, he says. Does anything trigger at the end of this, or do we have to just essentially play it out, or until something happens? As um, as soon as we score, as we get four purity points. Yeah. The chapter ends. We've successfully completed yeah. the objective. Yeah. Okay. Um, add or remove a darkness card? No. Hmm. I'm just seeing what Prudence has available that would be helpful. Do you know what could be cool? Mm -hmm. Oh man, is there any way you could you, you could do they nominate a player and they may take one card of their choice from their hand from the discard pile and put it into their hand. I could take the talk back back. Yeah, that's a good idea. So that requires a faith, a pain, and then a faith for the wild. I've got fear. it. I've got it. Awesome. Let's do that. So I'll just show everyone at home. So that we're using this from the communal prudence pool because she has the virtue she's not in. This is a one time use, and then it's flipped over and it's gone. Um, and it's going to be in my hand, which means I can't use it immediately, but on a subsequent round, if we, if we haven't managed to be successful, this could. Mm -hmm. Because we still have turns to do that. Yeah. Nice. Thank you for that. Now I've got my talk zero. Should I go for the barkeep? Because we get the bonus of danger. Yeah, if you mm -hmm. go for the barkeep, we, you may as well uh, use the the grog bonus mm -hmm. too. So, yeah, so we got this. This was from talking to the kid who revealed the fact that he mentioned the barkeep looks after him and his ma until his father returns from offshore or ash returns ashore. Sorry. Yeah. Then, a okay with this? Mm -hmm. You want to use the grog as well? Yeah. Let, let's, oh, let, let, no. let's have our first beer. Okay, so before taking a talk test, discard this card again. Plus two bonus to talk mm -hmm. and minus one clarity. Sorry. So we have zero talk yep. plus two for the grog. Yep. Mm -hmm. Plus two from mm -hmm. Justice's aura. So that's four. So that's four. We also get the modifier from the danger because level. Of right? the ah, because of, course. of the specific so subject. Five. So that's five plus nemesis number three, which <gasps> is eight. Eight, okay. <sighs> So that's going to send us to two, three, four. How much was the threshold number? Uh, it was six, six or plus. higher. Okay. Give us two, three, four. Okay. I haven't seen this card before. Uh, the stocky man eyes Solomon suspiciously. Apparently, he and Timmy's father belong belong to the same gang. Now he seeks to repay his old friend by letting his son's mother serve some drinks while she while he keeps the child under his watchful eyes. Oh, he's a soft spirit. <laughs> he motions uh, Solomon Queen closer and offers some extra information about his friend's involvement with pirates. Ah, that's so really nice. We get ourselves an extra purity point to go to three. We're going to gain that clarity back for him just taking mm -hmm. time to sit and sip over a grog rather than darning it. And then we simply remove that conversation path that we've done before. Nice. 
So we're on three of hopefully yes. a four. Mm -hmm. And the picture is more clear for yep. Solomon. So that's why he got the clarity back. Mm -hmm. and oh man, you see now, like if, when it, if, we go, if we find fish up and we go to the ship and we start fighting, what happens if we find out that Timmy's dad's one of the pirates <laughs> that we have to fight with? We're not saying anything. <laughs> We can say things, but we can't say that thing. Oh man, that would be so... <sighs> you kill a pirate, you flip a card and it says it was actually Timmy's dad. Well, really. Like <laughs> I can't even smirk. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's spent, that's spent. Mm -hmm. Darkness turn. <laughs> <laughs> so much flair for darkness turn. So, as far as the far targets are concerned, yeah. The shadow farthest from Solomon Cain moves yeah. to to threaten him. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So see him either way. Mm -hmm. So should we just send him to the same space as his shadow buddy? Yeah, we mm -hmm. can do that. Yeah. Rather than split them up, because this means we could potentially I got all excited. Uh, we could potentially move into them and pop both of them with a single virtue move. Yeah, but it says that the shadow closest oh. to Solomon Cain moves to to threaten him. So this one is going to try and actually move. Yeah. Well. Oh. It is a master matter of justice, actually. <sighs> I'm not. I, I do not want danger. Yeah, to eat I, I'm, with, I'm with you this time. Yeah. Is it? Is this the end of justice then? Oh, man, the aura has been so so good. Like it's guaranteed. Pretty much every yeah. talk mm -hmm. we've done so yeah. far has been successful. And we just need one purity. <sighs> no, I don't know. Um, and yes, the justice is related ah, to yeah. the card of the uh, old lady. And I think we should head to the old lady next. Yeah, oh my God. but it's a double-edged sword. Um, Take it or leave it. Do you have any way to move courage right now, other than your base move one? Yes, I can move two. You can move two. Yeah, right. So I can so pop both of the shadows. I can dissolve them into another essence. If you're willing to go first and do that, well, you need to roll. Is it a sure? Is it two of any dice? Two of anything. So if you go and do that, then the danger is at eight, but we have mm -hmm. no shadows on the board. So yes. Yeah. Come on, as leave danger. Let's so do it. Live dangerous. I feel like it is the right move, though. Because it is. If, yeah. if this wasn't justice related, then maybe. maybe exactly. Not. I'm yeah. with you. Okay, so I will rebuff the shadow, and danger will go to eight, so it's plus one. And spawn X. <laughs> <laughs> There's more where they came from. You're a, <laughs> an actual terrible, terrible human being. Um, Okay, start with you, right? What's going on in that corner, though? It's really yeah. good. <laughs> it's really good, though, that there is a notion that Solomon Cain's spirit of justice yeah. keeps the doubts and shady thoughts yeah. away. Yeah. Because he really needs to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. He, need, he needs to find out where the ship is, what's going on, who's yeah. who's leading the crew. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. Okay. So probably yourself first, sure. Travis. Yeah. Um, I don't currently have a way to move Solomon other than the communal card, so I don't know if you want to go second deal yeah, potentially. I have a move. Get him into position. Mm -hmm. And then I will hopefully follow up with a talk two, which should hopefully be enough to get some information from the old lady. Unless the, the waitress comes towards us, we could always chat to her. Oh, mm -hmm. we still have the swashbuckler. Oh, no, but I really want to know about the, yeah. the gun market <laughs> thing. This is driving me nuts though because I actually genuinely think the swashbuckler is the target that's going to have the best information about the pirates. So me as a player wants to talk to him, but this is the right decision to do for Solomon. Mm -hmm. And this is, and keep in mind that this is just for this playthrough yeah. because some positions mm -hmm. of the townsfolk are randomized. Okay. So you can get different results in different things. So the, the kid, the lady, yeah. the swashbuckler, the barkeep, the kid's son. And okay. let me tell you that we've been exploring bar the barkeep's story in this playthrough. But all of them mm -hmm. have a different background oh that man. gets connected yeah. with each other. <laughs> I love it. This is great. Okay. Um, so let's. So yeah, first thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. Let me drive those shadows away, right? Do it. Clear Irish. the path for Solomon. Sure. I'd almost be tempted to try and reroll one of the bravery just to see if you can get a determination sure. for deal. Because determination so. Oh, oh. wrecked the drive. Yeah. It is what it is, it's fine. So I'm, I'm happy to offer a bit of faith today for mm -hmm. us. Add whoever deal, wants I think it. it's fine. Yeah. yeah, there you go, buddy. So I'm gonna use those two dice to actually move myself. Yes. C One, C -c two, and oh. destroy them once and for all. That's really good. 
That is actually epic. That's me done. I'm gonna gonna put this card here. Draw a new one. What card have you chosen? Fight one. Fight, okay. Because it, it actually has a small cost. The others let us lose strength, so I don't want to do that right now. They're better once you know the situation yeah, and how they yeah, apply. Yeah. Besides, if the situation doesn't demand us having fight at all, yeah. I can easily discard that because it's a fight one. Yeah. So I, I just love the theme that Courage has cleared those two shadows away, knowing that Solomon's going to yeah. be heading that way. Yeah. It's really nice. To leave Justice's work unobstructed. Exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah. So that's it, guys. I kind of wanted to brew fist you, but I was like, I might catch your darkness. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> the, the tendrils of despair <laughs> <laughs> seep through your beak. So, okay. A sentry moves one to the nearest non adjacent point. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, well, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's essentially yeah. equal to bring it towards us. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Can we, can we get more grog from her? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can. So we can get more talk bonuses at the cost of mm -hmm. more clarity. Yeah. Yeah. We can just yeah. get drunk. Yeah. So the, the waitress is just going from table to table, and as she passes every time, we're just like <laughs> grabbing, <laughs> grabbing drinks as she walks True. by. Okay, okay. Why not? So the shadow farthest from Solomon Kane moves two to threaten him. Uh, so it's probably moving here. So wait, so two, three, four, one, two, uh, one, two, three, one, two. That's so yeah, two. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. it works out the same, doesn't it? And spawn X. Oh. Again. L let we me remind you that the portal with the letter X spawns most of the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's now my turn. Fear, pain, and faith. Now, if you flip to determination into pain, do you still have what you need to do? Movement and potentially talk? Yeah, I'm going to flip to have a determination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is there anything you would need out of that? Well, if you can move and talk, you essentially um, you can, can talk to the lady, move up, and then I'm in position to, I still need to roll three dice to get the talk I need, but I can still always do this one as well. So I'd rather, if, if there's two opportunities to talk, I would rather we talk more often yeah. than risk wasting time. I like the idea of trying to get the fourth purity point before we get to the darkness, because yeah. the longer this goes on, the higher the danger gets, and the lower the stress. Yeah. So you have That's to. True. So I'm going to spend one faith, sorry, two faith and one fear yeah. mm -hmm. to move one. Yeah. And I'm going to spend the communal talk action mm -hmm. to talk to the old lady. To talk to the old lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, or do you think do you think the waitress to get to get another beer? It depends on the matter that you're trying to to breach. Uh, so let's see. So I'm I'm talking with zero, mm -hmm. plus two from justice. Mm -hmm. um, um, I actually, I'm going to throw it out there because I want to do it. I think you should talk to Swashbuckler. <laughs> I want to see what he knows. I want to see what he knows, man. Yeah, well, let's, let's, why not? Let's do this. Yes. Then. So we start at zero. Mm -hmm. uh, two from Justice. Mm -hmm. We no longer have the compassion no. bonus. So it's just two. Two. One. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a number well spent on a different person yeah, other than the old lady, right? Point. Yes, I meant that to happen. <laughs> Kind of disappointed. Justice is blind. Uh, but so, oh, nice, nice. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was nice. Okay, so the swashbuckler. So we, we read his uh, stats before, and basically means we can talk to him to know what he what. Oh, sorry, we can ask him what he knows about the local patrons. We got a three. Is that what we got? We've got three. Yeah. Three. So yeah. up to three is discovery two, three, five. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. We had two. Yet? I don't think we No, have. we have not. Okay, so what is. Oh, God. I uh, just. It's not. Yep. Solomon is ignored as a look of scorn flashes across their face. They mutter something under their breath, but Solomon has already turned away. Minus one compassion. <laughs> Why'd you talk to the swashbuckler <laughs> deal? Well, who convinced you to try and do that? Both the Puritan and the swashbuckler detest each other, so. Mm -hmm. It makes Just sense. leave him. It makes sense. Leave yeah. him alone. Oh, damn. Damn. No, I want to talk to. I want to talk to him again to yeah. try and get ah. something. Haven't you learned that lesson? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Boom. 
<laughs> so the sentry moves two to the farthest point. Okay, so over here, I presume? So one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. It's a short oh, wait, oh, no, she's there. Sorry, mm -hmm. excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we can get Let's head over to the old lady. Just put her back. Right. Why not? Shot. Yeah. The shadow closest to Solomon oh. Kane moves to, to threaten him. Okay, so that's this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just simply move one because it's threatening and not engaging. Keep in mind that each shadow gives a minus one yeah. um, modifier to the tests. So the shadow farthest from okay. Solomon Kane moves to the threatening. Oh man. It's so getting worse. So we will be into here. Yeah. Or be into here. Oh yeah, the send them. Otherwise, yeah, they would be rendre rendered speechless. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So spawn Y for a change. Okay. Uh, Let's yeah, go there. Man, imagine we were playing with nightmare cards and we had five or six shadows. <laughs> <laughs> this tavern's not big enough for the <laughs> 12 of us or whatever it would be. Um, okay, that was all right. How many darkness cards have we got left now? This, this is going to be four left? Four left? Okay. So I have no dice donated. None of us have any donated or reserved dice. So I'm just really hoping to get really lucky in this roll or get a single determination yep. to at least try something. But now I'm nervous because now I know if you get a really bad talk, there's a chance that True. not only will nothing happen, but you'll actually have something exactly. negative yeah. happen. True. But if you if you speak to the old lady about yeah. that specific subject, you'll be getting a plus two because justice mm -hmm. is spawned. So it's it's going to be a plus four thing. Okay. So. But then we have minus two. Cause exactly. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, you forgot your darkness yeah. budget. <laughs> um, I did not get what I need at all. In fact, I rolled, I think that I needed a bravery, uh, a faith, and a pain, but I got determination and fear, the opposites of what I needed. Um, there's no way I can do this now, I don't think. Can I suggest putting prudence on the board? Just so we can get rid of one of these shadows? Oh, man. So don't talk. Hmm. I'm sure. Because if we talk with zero, we're going to get minus two from the nearby shadows. So we would be zero plus two minus two. So that's plus two. another two mm -hmm. here. So we'd yeah. end up with so two. two. And what's the threshold now? Uh, up to five, then six plus. Mm. Mm. There's actually there's actually a third option there as well for you. Just keep me right on that. Uh, yeah. Little card check from the game dev here to make sure yeah, it's got the so right it's options on it. Yeah, so it's up to five, yeah. six, or seven plus. Okay, okay. So there's two potential cards. So if we started on two, we would need a four on the Nemesis number. Mm. And four is the average. Mm. <laughs> the darkness game dev and the light game dev. <laughs> <laughs> four is average, as yeah. Go for it. Okay, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, no, well, let's do it. So let's say my current plan is to allocate this here. I'm going to allocate to move justice afterwards mm -hmm. to maybe take out a shadow, maybe. But I don't. I could always shuffle my discard back in mm -hmm. or something, yeah. and, and I'll just put that there. And this one I can't donate, so I'm just going to reserve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do this first. So talk of zero uh, becomes two with justice, becomes four thanks to the conversation strand, and then minus two because of the two shadows nearby. Mm -hmm. So I'm on two. Let me. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the I don't want you to touch it. You're, 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 I'm going to do this in <laughs> shot, actually. It's a four. Four is average. Yes. Four is average. <laughs> so we get six? Yeah. Okay, so we don't get the highest one, but we get the 218. We don't get the ultimate one. So this is, we're specifically, and we got that plus two bonus because we're specifically talking about her uh, local market involvement. Or local weapon smuggling cartel. Mm -hmm. We've basically heard that she's a, sm a, a, a pawn of smugglers. Okay. So let's see. So, oh. Uh, she looks around as she beckons Kane closer. According to her, she's been extorted by a smuggling cartel to spy on a specific pirate ship. She can divulge more information if Solomon is willing to help her. We have to remove 203, so that was the previous discussion, and then make an immediate talk mm -hmm. test to try and convince her. We're going to talk at zero, but then we have a strength modifier and two if justice is spawned. Oh, we have to actually try this again. So this one's gone. Mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of exhausted that initial. That so just that just got that got us to the table. So we need to convince her that we are able-bodied physically yeah. for something that I don't know right right now. Um. So I just 
have to do a straight away another one. Straight mm -hmm. away. There's no strength mod because we're yeah. on six. Uh, we have plus two of justice to spawn, which it is. Mm -hmm. So again, we've got the same test because it's two plus two with the shadows again. Yeah. So it's back at two. Yeah. If we had that strength on on seven, yeah. then we would, we would have gotten a plus one. Because she sees that we're physically capable exactly. of doing what she's asking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another. Do you want me to corrupt the card? No. <laughs> corrupt <laughs> the card? Okay, corrupted card. To taint it? Uh, it's a four, which is six, six. again, uh, which is. I'll give that to you. Uh, which is the better, hopefully, of the two options. So two, three, three, we're heading to. Oh man, no, I, no, I want to know. Come up, come up, give up the goods. Oh, is she gonna send us on like a side quest? <laughs> uh, Oi! Uh, she senses that Solomon will be able to help her, even if only as a distraction, and so carefully divulges most of what she knows. A group of pirates are supposed to arrive in the tavern in 20 minutes or so. She knows from which direction they will be approaching and shares the appropriate information with Solomon before returning to her lukewarm drink. Minus one danger, plus two purity. Fantastic. Yes, so minus one danger puts us at seven, back to the three shadows, and we hit five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh because my God, that's be epic. Because forewarned is forearmed, so the danger has been averted. Can I look at two, three, two? Do you know what two, three, two was? <laughs> no, you better Man, not. Man, I really no. want to know what would have happened if we had You have the to play the game <laughs> again. That's freaking epic. Like that is that is so so cool, um, and how like because now now that it ends, that's kind of giving Solomon twenty minutes to kind of get ready for them coming. Now uh, that's the first time I've seen that. That's the first time I saw the barkeep story expand the way it did as well. That is really really cool, um, and so and still you haven't seen all the things from the old lady's quest. Yeah, from the old lady's storyline. Never so mind we, the we, swash book, we huh? ended up discarding five discovery cards that we we went through. We ended up gaining three discovery cards as purity points. Um, so because we hit five, does that trigger the end of the chapter? Yes. Okay, so pass the chapter over and we'll just see. Um, <laughs> and you know what? How, how timely, because things were not about to stay mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> very positive. Um, so we just skip on three. We can see that with four or more purity points, we go to 3A. With one or two, we would go to 3B. And if any other outcome happened, we would be going to 3C. So we'll be going on to 3A. Uh, we're going to take a moment to quickly reset the board and get everything back, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so we've just cleared the board. We have reset our tiles with a new board. This is representing the alleys and streets out the back of the tavern. This is where the tavern's um, entrance was. And we have a little building that's also gonna be blocking some of the, the pathing around the map here. Again, I will just rem remind you guys, these are temporary. This is actually just one big board <laughs> for now, but your, your tiles will come uh, in this size and they will all turn around and basically um, all interlock in different ways. So you can reuse them in multiple different fashions according to the map and the storybook. But we're just obviously working with prototypes at the minute. We had a really good uh, chapter two. So we went to 3A. Mm -hmm. um, I have a couple of bits ready here, but we'll get the chapter card up to show everyone go. what's happening. So the gun wheel has proven most enlightening. All that Caden needs is to interrogate some unsuspecting pirates. So this is, they are unsuspecting because we were told they're on their way yes. and we're mm -hmm. now going to get a jump on them per, yes. per se. Um, so we need Solomon Cain, we need a shadow, four thugs, and eight darkness. And then it will also tell us which discovery cards and fight actions are going to begin. So let me grab everything here. You're setting up the board. Um, so I need, I need the hidden because we're starting without them knowing we're here. We also need the search card because that's going to tell us how the scouts are going to be interacting because at the moment they're looking to find us. They, they yes. haven't, they're not hunting us yet, they're just looking to, to find us. Um, I need these, what other ones do I need? Uh, I need the first. So I need 5, 11, 34, 61, 72, 89. I just happen to have them ready on top. Uh, so keep those there. So we have a little mini discovery deck specifically for this scene. And although it doesn't say it on the card again, this is something that we need to change in the prototypes. We do, because we did so well in the previous chapter, actually start with a virtue on board. Is that yes. right? And it's actually the virtue we're not playing. It, oh, it's courage? No, it's courage. Courage, okay. Yeah. You can keep me right. So again, this is depending on how well you did, we are entering this scene hidden, which means all the pirates and thugs, bandits, they start in scout mode, which means they have not found us yet, and they're going to act differently as they try to find us. Had we come into 3B or 3C, this would be a very different situation. We wouldn't have courage on the board, and we also would be engaging straight into a fight as they potentially jumped us. We'll kind of show a few of the other chapter cards mm -hmm. off um, at the end. So if you want to see those kind of other options, we can show them a little bit. I'll pass that to you, sir. What yeah. is our objective, sorry? So our objective is to defeat all the thugs, 
Okay. However, if we manage to defeat at least two of them mm -hmm. before we 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 are get defeated. Okay, so before danger gets to yeah. eleven or yeah. any other tracks kind of get to zero or yeah. before they defeat us. Then we'll be scoring we'll be heading to a different chapter. Okay. So but if we don't manage to kill anybody mm -hmm. or at least two of those, then we'll be having a third okay. different So we either get well. them all, we get at least two of them, yeah. or if we don't get at least two of them, then something else will happen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. So we're starting hidden. Little search action. Four's all set up. We also get to. Oh, what have I forgotten? The additional oh. discovery oh. cards. Yeah. So that would be th uh, those ones. So that is. Yeah, I have those. And then I also need. Oh, I need these. Yeah. So. You also I need. 240 and 241. Here we go. Yes. Ah, okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this is something <laughs> really cool. Uh, let me show everyone at home what these are. So these, to kind of um, replicate Solomon fighting pirates and bandits and people who are kind of. He's a sea man himself. He's sure. part of the Navy. We know about kind of his expertise with like Francis Drake and stuff. Mm -hmm. So when he's engaging with people that he is uh, familiar with, he has a couple of extra options that he would normally have in some cases. So first of all, he has rapier wit. Solomon keeps enemies at bay, not only with a sharp blade, but also with a sharp mind. Solomon can actually perform a talk action when fighting pirate thugs using one peon. And with a talk one, we then refer to a card for a result. And that is dictated by this, this witty banter card. So there's four potential options here. We could either do very badly and have our danger increase because our, our words only fortify the enemy's conviction, or there's two other positive things. One would push the thug back and they would skip their activation, or we could actually initiate an, an automatic fight with them as our wit succeeds to dull their senses. We see an opening and swiftly raise our blade. So this is to represent Solomon, bit of a spoiler. I'll say, in Blue Flame of Vengeance, if you've read the story, there is a specific scene where Solomon basically talks a pirate into being frozen in fear, <laughs> to basically being unsure of what he can even do next. And that's something Solomon's really, really good at because his kind of reputation precedes him. They even say that Solomon's even better at tracking down men than like the Native Americans at the time. They say he's not, you know, they're nothing compared to Solomon. And um, so I think this is, this is great mm -hmm. for this particular chapter. Yeah. Um, okay, so turn order. Oh, how many darkness cards do we have? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, the most crucial part about my mystery. Come on, darkness. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so come on, yeah, <laughs> come on, darkness. <laughs> Eight darkness cards. Okay. So we don't have much no, time. No, not many. If we just find one weak-willed pirate, I don't know why I did the rock symbol, <laughs> <laughs> one weak-willed pirate <laughs> to give us the information we need to get on to Fishhawk's ship, mm -hmm. take him down, the rest can have their lives. Yeah. I want to I engage in ripping Rip your wit right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll lose stealth. <laughs> I was mixing witty banter with rape your wit there. <laughs> witty wit. No wit. No. Oh, rape your banter. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So who's going to go first? Um, I. I have move one, which is good for stealth. I have it's talking. Yeah. Mm. But I'm not adjacent to anyone. We're not adjacent to anyone currently. Talking will break our stealth. Naturally. Um, but it yeah. could it could give us, if we do a really successful talk, we could give us a, a really good fight. Good fight yeah, that's true. A fight but, four. but courage is already on the board, so fighting normally to at least start yeah. is probably the right but Just imagine what a single talk action can lead to. It can lead to a fight of six mm -hmm. just because we got courage there. Yeah. Oh, because the talk would initiate the fight, and then yeah. the fight would get the bonus from courage. Yeah. Ah, okay. But we would need a talk of seven for that to happen. Uh, with a talk of two, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. I could go for it. I think it's plausible. It can be done. I still need to. I still need to move closer. We need to get in range so they can actually yeah. hear us over the sound of the town. <laughs> <laughs> so if only Prudence was with us, she could. Have, she might have helped us a bit with the hidden status. Um, for now, then, do one of you guys want to look at moving? Do you want to move, Dylan? Then? Babas, you can potentially get the initial kind of fight on, or what should I do? Yeah, so I got a fight of two, which can be augmented to four. Yeah. Or I, I also have a fight one. Remember me putting the weak fight here yeah. because I need to discard that? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. It could, it could do what we need it to do. So it's worth noting that the, the hidden card essentially says, I didn't mention this, but if, if they move in, uh, sorry, if we move into their area or we move more than one area at a time, 
we're going to lose the hidden seven. Yeah. Of course, attacking someone is going to do it as well. Yeah. So that first attack matters. Mm -hmm. I would really love to use a fight that's kind of probably going to yeah. take them down. Uh, so first, second, mm -hmm. third. Yeah, that sounds yeah, good. We can go with that. Okay. All right, deal. Okay, now I'm up. I've got two bravery and one fear. I can't move. Oh, there's no way to even reroll that into into a move. I could use the bravery. I could use the bravery for talking if if, if you can get there us into position, Babis. Yeah, I can use the bravery or fear for talking, so it doesn't matter to me. I'll give you a fear, and then I'll I'll just reserve this one dice for myself. No, I lied. It, Bravery actually ah, helps me more flexible. all of my actions. Yeah, there you go. I'll reserve fear. It makes sense. And I'm going to discard my left hand card. Mm -hmm. And you can discard one of your two cards if you don't play either of your cards. You can actually just mm. discard it. So it lets you cycle through your hand. And now I have a fight three, which is quite rare for Temperance. Nice. Okay. That's really good. So I'm just going to That's my hand. So once you're, you're done. That's my turn. We get to see what darkness does. So do they have anything adjacent to us? Nope. Uh, There's my hand. Nope. I still have to talk five. I just realized that Good. could be really, because you, you put it back in my hand. Ah, yeah, yes. so that could be really helpful. Now. The shadow closes to Solomon. Yeah. <laughs> moves two to threaten him. Okay. One, two. And we got two scouts that actually move one space west. Okay, so north is towards us. North is up towards where we've come from in the tavern. So, so never east treaded we Oh wait, oh no. So what uh, two move how far west? Yeah. Two move one west? Two move one west. So we we choose who moves west. Uh so Oh two oh two farthest? No no. Or just any two. Any two. Uh okay, so we could actually have this guy. Mm -hmm. We could actually I, bring I would say bring these two closer yeah. to us. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Into fighting distance. Well bring moving this one. That's a good point. And then move just yes, or move this guy away. Yeah, why not? Yeah, but that's, that's a I, I really good. I like the idea of trying to keep them a little separate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the shadow doesn't do anything because he's no, he obviously a, yeah. a bad guy. He lives in the darkness. Yeah, uh, I mean, um, bad people don't bad people don't get affected by yeah. shadows. Yeah. only Solomon and NPCs. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. All right, that's actually that, that was fairly good, and that's because they're not aware of where we are. They're mm -hmm. just making their way to the tavern. They're patrolling mm -hmm. around, kind yeah. of fine. Wait for us, essentially, but yeah. we are waiting for them. <laughs> so I get to roll three dice. So I was too much. This is. Uh, are you going to roll well? Are you going to be a darkness and betrayers? Uh, <laughs> I, I, this is really weird. But I'm really imagining it's like kind of Batman now, like the kind of 16th century Batman. Like we're yeah. just in the shadows, <laughs> and they're looking for us, and we're just ready to pounce. And just <laughs> them okay, so I rolled. Bravery, fear, and pain. What does that do for you? Um, I can actually initiate that attack, so I can begin that. With uh, what's your value? Uh, f four in total. <gasps> okay. We yeah, wanna yeah. go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be enough to to take one down, okay. right? So I'm gonna flip this pain over to determination because I need determination. Should we have a discovery card to actually start this off? I just realised I it haven't actually got the fight discovery card out. It says, what's our starting one? Thirty-four. Ah. Oh, oh, got a bit excited. Okay. Oh yeah. So this, so essentially, this tells us what our beginning kind of um, yes. situation is. And at the minute, we're kind of just in a standoff. Nothing has happened. So we're we're just about to start the fight. We haven't really learned anything yet about how they're fighting. I'm gonna spend this mm -hmm. die to actually move myself one okay. space with Solomon. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh yes. Yep. Let's make this Completely much more epic, right? And I'm gonna leave the shadows yeah. and lunge forward with a fight of two plus two four. No a modifier from the track. Yeah. No, against that poor pirate over there. And in the current version of the rules, you are at your ideal range. Yes. One space, so you get a plus one on top mm -hmm. of that. I as get well. a plus one. And um, we will mention just very briefly: we are looking at pistols, muskets, other weapons. Solomon primarily was a, a range fighter. Uh, excuse me, sorry, a sword fighter. And um, so at the moment, we're just dealing with the ideal ranges for people with swords at one or melee uh, at zero if they're punching or using daggers. And we are looking into, of course, expanding out in that. Yeah. Am I right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to ask you to give anything right. away. In this. 
So okay. we have a, a total bonus of five, okay. mm -hmm. right? Plus, yeah. Wow. Eleven. Eleven. Oh my God. Um, so we use this card, two tails, mm -hmm. and we'll be taking, you can keep it right before I show the guys this number. Yeah, mm -hmm. you yeah. as well show So I'll show it off to everyone at home, just so you can see. So this, this is the card that started in play as donated by the chapter card. So it says, um, we have here a, a, a range of numbers for the opponents, but also a range of numbers for Solomon. So we got Solomon, yeah. eight plus, we're yeah. gonna go to D72. D72. Okay, so let me go and grab D72 from the cards that we were told to start with. Here we go. It's gonna be bad for this so swashbuckler. We, we abandon. Oh. We let the, the search and hidden mm -hmm. cards go. So the warrior's attack is wild and badly aimed. Solomon avoids it easy while his attacker's off balance. We're gonna f well, we have a choice actually. We have a choice to either make a break for it and move one away, or we're gonna be able to pierce him in the stomach with a flash of the blade and remove the attacking or attacked warrior in this case. So yeah, we should yeah, absolutely, definitely. Yeah. absolutely dead him. I think moving um, is not an option. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that now becomes the active card. So basically this, this Discovery card replaces it, the previous it one. Replaces it. So the fight's going to kind of evolve based on what happens. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, we have three different options now. Okay, Dougie. That's we one down. Three to go. We definitely abandoned. Uh, so uh, we left our uh, hidden status. Yeah. So that's me done. Darkness now has. Mm -hmm. So th they're now hunters now. They're now hunters. So their behavior changes. Mm -hmm. And it says that. The shadow farthest from Solomon Kane moves two to threaten him. Okay, so we just move up to here. So now we're going to be at negatives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We might run a risk of actually losing courage in the future. And all hunters, uh -huh. all hunters, okay, all hunters oh. move one space towards Solomon Kane okay. to engage him That's just oh. okay. with an attack value of three. Okay, so this guy will move one. Mm -hmm. Both of those guys are within uh, attack range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh. pick, a, pick a hunter that uh, will be initiating his attack. I kind of want to kill this one because it gives us a bit more space to move mm -hmm. if we manage to actually dispatch him, if mm -hmm. we can take him as sure. he comes at us. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that he also has a sword, so he gets the plus one. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So he'll be attacking us with three. Okay. Plus one from the, mo the, from the mm -hmm. yeah. weapon, four. Plus one for each. Hostile miniature. Okay, so this guy's gonna add to five. Oh, six. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now we do a rabble check. We do a rabble check. Okay. So, so we have a base of six plus one. So seven. seven. So we compare that to the card that we have moved forward to. So this time we're looking at the opponent's number. So seven to nine is D34. Actually, I think we're gonna be okay here. This is just going to essentially return us back to a status quo, mm -hmm. which is not great because we'd rather continue down yeah. the cascade into the advantage. Yeah. Yes, so essentially there's, there's no effect, but unfortunately it's brought us now back yeah. to, yeah. instead of starting to win over the fight, yeah. we're now kind of back to where we were. But see, that pirate got lucky because he had so many modifiers exactly. attacking him. And we also get to spawn Z. Oh, I love, I love the way you always say we get to, <laughs> we get to spawn Z. Like, yay. It is what it is in the end. So. <laughs> <laughs> what a, a such a darkness line. It is what it is in the end. That's like all men die. Kind of like that. So <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, so I have lots of dice in reserve and some donated dice. So I'm hoping for some badass talking here. Um, so tell me this. This uh, talk action that we can all do together, that's one way to do witty banter. Can I also do witty banter through my sure. own talks? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd really love to do a talk of two rather than talk of one. Um, we could also potentially increase compassion by one. We'd only put this to six, we wouldn't get a modifier, but okay. So I have, yeah, I mean, I can definitely do my talk of two. Can't donate to you guys though. I actually think I might bring prudence onto the board just to give us, give us a little bit more presence and stop these shadows kind of. Mm -hmm. Sure, you can do that. So let me see, How so I've got a bravery and I've got a faith and I've got this, I will, oh, I've got my pain, there we go. So that's what I need for my top two, which leaves me with three dice left. Um, <gasps> Prince actually has a fight. Prince has a fight of three. That would be really that's good, great. actually. So I with courage on the board. Talk and fight. Perfect. Perfect. Oh man, I am loving Prudence's cards right now. So over there, and then I'll allocate to here. Which first then? 
I'd say kill first, ask questions later. <laughs> 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 you should always play courage, man. <laughs> always play courage. Uh, that's so good. Um, yes, I'm well down for that. Try and get the same guy? Sure. Okay, yeah. so Prudence is card. I'll grab this here. So just showing everyone at home. So this is, again, another card of Prudence's that um, is communally available because Prudence is not here to help us in her physical body. So I will spend these dice, flip this over, and pop that face down. So we've used two of her tent cards. Mm -hmm. We're using them at a decent, mm -hmm. pr decent rate. So the fight starts at three, was that? Yeah, yes, three. three. So four, five, thanks to Courage. Minus one for the sh adjacent shadow. Uh, but do we lose anything for the other guy? No, because no. I'm, uh, I'm going to attack him. Mm -hmm. So we're on four. Plus one for the optimum range this mm -hmm. time. Oh, yes, we're right. So five yeah. against this yeah. guy. Okay, let's have a card, flip it over. Bill, do the honors. Five plus three. Is eight. Um, okay, so I'll have a look again. So this is, we're back to the same standoff card. We're going to get an eight plus. Oh, wow, I think we're actually, I think I know what's coming. We've got a good result. We have actually yes. been, we're back on the good path again. There's a, there's a bunch of potential options here, but we just happen to be going. Yes, yeah, so again, we're going to get the pierce. Well, or we can move. We can move or we can pierce our opponent's stomach with a flash of blade and remove him. Yes. yes. Let's pierce. Yeah, hit him out of there. Um, I really wish we could move as well, but I'm still pretty happy with that. So that becomes the new active discovery card for combat. And now I've got to talk. So this is Justice's card. I'm doing a bravery, a faith, and a pain. To do an explore to or a talk to, I'm going to be choosing. Let's engage in some to. witty banter. Yeah, boy, I really hope this doesn't backfire. <laughs> um, so we still get the minus one from the shadow though. Mm -hmm. So we start at two, there's nothing from compassion track and justice is not around. Shadow minus ones were at one. Mm -hmm. And again we add a nemesis number to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got here. I'm gonna there there you go. I touched it but <laughs> <laughs> the, there we go. I'm gonna bring it over here. Come on, come on. So what do we need? Something that's good. Four. So we go to five? Five. Um, okay, that's not oh, it's not as flashy as I wanted. So if I have a look at the witty banter card, a five says the thug moves back one space and doesn't act during the next darkness turn. Solomon's certitude breathes fear into one of his opponents, but doesn't act to do anything more than that. Ah, oh, I absolutely wanted to like <laughs> just kill his friend and be like, "You're next," and turn and get him to. But this is what we did. But he he's shaken with fear. Mm -hmm. He's um, wrong with it. Any preference where we move him one away to? Do we want to try and get him, him and his buddy together in the same spot, or do you want to try and keep them separate? I'd, I'd suggest keeping them separate mm -hmm. for now. Just to here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I sense that this guy will be uh, coming, coming for can us. Can I argue to move him here? Yeah. So in order for us to kill him, we would have to move here, which is closer to Zed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we move here, we can move Solomon to here, yeah. which is better for us in this direction. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. As Darkness it. Sure. So... One shadow yeah. near Solomon engages him. <sighs> mm, okay. Um, I am quite fine, given the fact that these are just rabble. These are not villains, they're not nemesis. I'm quite happy that the danger got to eight to keep courage around because she's so vital right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And she is really yeah, the one we're relying on. I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree too. I think it's perfectly valid to maybe get Prudence on or Temperance on just to try and give us more shadow mm -hmm. right away because at the moment they're just kind of slowly coming and it could get worse. But yeah, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's so do, you, do, you want me, do you want me to repel the shadow? <laughs> so to ward it off, to keep it away? Yes. Yes. So danger is up to eight. Yes. So <laughs> the shadow <laughs> farthest from Solomon Kane yep. moves to to threaten him. Okay, so. Keep yeah, in mind that it won't enter the space. Mm -hmm. It will be there to threaten him. Okay. The three hunters yeah. nearest Solomon King mm -hmm. move two to engage him for three. So this guy will move two yeah. to engage with three. Mm -hmm. But this guy is One frozen in fear yes. because mm -hmm. of our that's, that's yes. my witty banter. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so this guy's gonna engage on three then. Yeah. And then it goes to four or five. Five. Do we get the bonus from this guy? No, because no. he's not yeah. the Jason Solomon. Oh, yep. Yeah. So five plus one for the optimum range. Yeah. Six. So and then we add a rabble number. Ooh, that's a good one. Three. That's a nine. Nine. 
oh thank god if that had been if that had been a 10 yeah if that had been if this if guy he had was, been adjacent he, if we hadn't fruit of the damage showed us off actually so this is yeah this man this is going back perfect. and forth if this has gone to 10 plus we would have been going down to do5 now i don't know exactly what do5 says but thankfully we're keeping the status quo we're staying at that normal midpoint because of that lack of action so d34 again we know what this is at this point so it's fine so we're back to a standoff solemn is a match for his assailants and he repels all his attackers and the brief skirmish leaves neither side with advantage no effect so that's okay i'd rather we were back to the status quo than actually mm -hmm. uh, something dreadful happening okay yep new round so three down discard and five left we don't need to kill two guys who can fight so i've got to fight three so i'm going to suggest maybe going second or third why sure. not just first yeah why, why not go first because you need to roll the things that you exactly, yeah. It's only two, man. It's only a faith and a determination. You can roll that, no problem. You think? Nope. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just know I'm not rolling it, so I'm okay with it. I think it's safer to go second, so it guarantees it. I really wish we were live right now, because I really want to ask everybody at home <laughs> ah, like yes. just whether or not they think Deal should go first and try and get this, or whether we should go second to guarantee it. I think he should go first, man. I think he should. Dr. Pepper, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. God, no, I don't know. No, I, I don't want to be the one. <laughs> that you start to be the one that rolls the dice, so. You know. I, I'll go first to donate to you if you want. Um, oh, I haven't replenished my card. Let's see what you've got, yeah. So, uh, no, I'm confused. I keep forgetting because I have an extra card in my hand because I have the talk five. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I could potentially put down the talk five, yeah. which again is a two dice card. So a talk five could initiate a seven plus fight through the witty banter and reappear with. So mm -hmm. in that case, do you want me guys to go first and possibly supply you yeah. with a multitude of dice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the other thing I have really that's super useful right now would be a move. Mm -hmm. But and I could move us two, which would get us right out of shadow danger. Mm -hmm. But I think if we can just focus on killing these two guys, we'll disseminate the threat and then... Yeah, exactly. So I'll take the top five. I don't replenish because I've still got three cards. Bubba, so you want to go first? Yeah. yeah and in that case, I'll go second. Okay. No pressure. Hmm. Are you ready? Yep. Incredible I don't know why I have to. So, gentlemen, um, uh, which die would you prefer? Determination would be good. And bravery would be good for me, actually. There you go, sir. Bravery for you, determination for you. And as for for me, I'm going to... Oh, yeah. No. I'm going to reserve. Oh, I was going to say, do you want to move courage and take a shadow up? Do you think so? So currently we're getting plus two with courage. We're losing two, if so it's, it's zero. Oh, okay. If we get a good talk result, the attack will be a massive six. Yeah, but then we still lose the shadows effect. So it still goes so again. Four. Yeah, I was trying to work out to see if killing a shadow would, would in essence be better, but it's not really. Mm. It, it works um, out. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, no, cool. So I'm gonna reserve this. I'm gonna discard the fight one thing mm -hmm. because I'll be replacing it with a fight five. Excellent. Awesome. So uh, we don't do the job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, we're solid. So I'm done. Yeah, darkness. And darkness oh, this is says that a shadow engages an adjacent mortal. However, let me tell you guys uh -huh. that as far as the near yeah. targets are concerned, mm -hmm. there are no other shadows moving. So it would just be one. Yeah. Can we afford increasing the danger level by one more? It goes to nine. <laughs> if it goes to 11, we just lose. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes as oh, well, because that's me being reckless. I'm okay. I'm okay to nine. Okie dokie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good with well, that. It's your decision, really, actually, with yeah. your courage. Get it up. Yeah, yeah. Get it up. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, no hunger attacks us. Okay. But we get to spawn X. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Over there. Spawn X. Oh, he's miles away. Yeah. Because we because we got a really good result on the yeah, previous exactly chapter. yeah otherwise the portal would have been really close mm -hmm. to us i'm missing prudence's aura of being able to choose between two darkness cards man yeah i realize when you're not playing with prudence and you're not on the board with you just how much i miss that because it's such a boon whenever you have it mm -hmm. all right deal right here we go you only need to roll a single faith on all these dice with two faith on them <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> can you just can you yep yeah, yep yeah, that's two fear and a determination Okay, I, I can reroll. The magic of reroll. Oh Here we go. God, please, a fate. It's a fate. Oh man, that's like right in the middle <laughs> of all of those guys. Hold on, I can't even. There. Oh, dude, just build the tension, why don't you? <laughs> so I can fight with three. Yeah. Can I steal one of your other determinations? Or, yeah, or go for it, it. Only if you have nothing better to do with it. 
Let's have a uh, think. So you Pipe three for sure. Um, Pierce and Prudence is obviously always a thing that could be good. Uh, you don't have enough dice to modify a track, so that would have been nice. Mm -hmm. Getting strength back up to seven for the modifier would have been good. Uh, yeah, if you don't have anything better to do, a determination would be great. It guarantees my top is black. Yeah, let's do that one. That's there brilliant. you go. We're good. So I'm going to reserve those other two Double here. Fear. And I'm going to fight three, which minus one clarity. That's okay. He's now entered the drunken brawl mm -hmm. yet, <laughs> as his mind blurs. So it's a fight of three. <laughs> it's kind of like Tom just wakes up. He's like, I just woke up and they were all dead. I don't know why I blacked out. Right? <laughs> so we have a base fight of three, plus yeah. two from courage. Yeah, plus one from what we can remember. Of course. Who, which one? You're going to attack this one because he's not yet. Yeah. Sorry, so it has yeah. to be okay. And then we have minus two from shadows. Yeah, so that's four. Mm -hmm. Fight four. Plus two. Oh, Are you kidding me? No. Six in total. Six. You must, we must that's, be getting tired. That is lackluster. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to 61. Whoops. Solomon's getting tired. Or unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, weighing up the foe, there's a pause in the frantic scrabble of battle while both sides catch their breath and try to gauge the other's metal. Mm -hmm. The farthest hunter from Solomon moves one towards him. Which is really easy, you know? Mm -hmm. We'll act again now. But then we get plus one clarity or compassion. I'd say compassion. Yeah. Because yeah. that increases our talk check. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, interestingly, I was going straight to clarity because it's lower, but I actually think you're right. Yep. And then we have another new future fight card, which will dictate mm. how well. I like that card. <laughs> okay. So that. Ugh. Ugh. What do I mean? No. Darkness. No, sorry. Over to. My darkness. Darkness. So. Also known as Babas' darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for all of you guys. We only get that shadow moving because okay. everyone else is adjacent. Yeah. So the shadow farthest from Solomon Kane moves two to threaten him. Okay. One two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or one two. Set, set, uh, oh send him east. Same either way. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And we get spawn X. Uh, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. We can have four shadows. Yes, we really do. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Um, I think that we have been far too soft <laughs> with with the whole situation, right? This fight's gone now. Yeah, sorry. Don't forget to get your mm -hmm. new card. I already got a fight of five. Well, I've got a talk of five now, so I'm hopefully through witty banter, I can initiate ah. a fight. It was still you playing, wasn't it? Mm, that was no. Me. That was that was, deep. No, that was me. Really? It, it's now as his turn. Yeah, now. That, was, that was deals quite mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's you, as. Oh man, God, for God. We struggled to do, defeat yeah, these two guys. It's because we've let them group up. It, when, the shadows as well. That's it. As soon as they all start to bunch. Yeah. Um, God. Okay. I'm. I am nervous about this because I know that the Willy Banter has potential to add plus one danger if it goes really badly. Uh huh. Mm, I, see. I don't. I don't think it's possible with a talk of five. I don't think we can skip three. Even with all the negative modifiers, yeah. but still, it's making me a little nervous. Well, that's a super card deck. So that. Pain, pain, and fear. Um, I'm going to flip one of the pain into determination. I'm going to hold on to that. And I'm going to prepare my talk five. And I'm going, I'm not going to risk the talk one. I think that's just too risky at the moment. Can you manifest yourself? No. I'm going to manifest prudence. Oh, good. Um, so I'm going to spend these three on the Prudence card over here. I'm going to bring Prudence right now, actually. Um, the, and the frustrating thing is my two thoughts on bringing Prudence in are either to get over here and start to mm -hmm. let, hopefully the shadows group up and she can maybe take out a couple of shadows mm -hmm. in one go. Mm -hmm. Or the other thing is to go here, be adjacent to the Solomon, the and get the aura. Now, do we get the aura whenever she's not in the game? That's, that's something, because obviously we don't have the player board and stuff for her. Game developers have to make mm -hmm. a, a, an honest... <laughs> There's mm. there, there is a thing that we are testing, yep. but we can definitely play with that yep. mm -hmm. right now. So we can get uh, affected by Aurora. Yeah. So there's something that may change there. in the future. Sure. Yeah. Pro play testing, prototyping, still early days. Um, your guys' feedback is obviously big on that. If you have a preference on whether you think the virtues who aren't on the board um, should or shouldn't have their auras impacted, 
let us know. I'd like to see it. I, I'm, I don't mind either way. So we're playing that she does? She does. Okay. So yes, so yes, because I think my decision would be if it does, I think I'll go here. If it didn't, I think I'd be more inclined to get ready to go into kind of a pouncing position where she could like jump on a couple of shadows when they group. Um, but yes, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Talk of five. Okay. Talk of five means minus one compassion. So thank you for putting that up. And I'm just going <laughs> to take a bite down again. And I'm going to, it doesn't really matter really, but I'm going to go for this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it starts at five and then I lose two, two, two. essentially. So I'm down to three. No modifier here. No. So we need to just add our nemesis number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll grab it. And we, oh Lord, save us. That's a two. So we get five in total. Um, That's which just okay. Thank, thankfully, we didn't get four, so don't increase the danger. So we move a thug back one, and he doesn't act in the next, yes. the next phase. So I'll move this thug back one. A different one, then. Ah, oh, that's boo, boo. Um, yep, that's all I'm doing on my turn. I will replenish a card. I'm going to grab a move of two, and I need to draw one. All done. Darkness is up. Yes. This is this is starting to go against us a little, I think. Mm -hmm. So the shadow. So as far as the near mm -hmm. miniatures are concerned, they don't activate at all. Okay. The shadow closest to Solomon Kane moves two to threaten him. Okay. So this one. Ah, that's one. bad. It's getting worse. Well, mm -hmm. but potentially Prudence could take. Yeah, that, that's really good. Could take uh, the might. The shadow farthest from Solomon Kane moves two to threaten him. Okay. Um, yes, no, actually, this might work out quite well. How many darkness cards have we got left, folks? After um, this one? We don't have anything else. So two. Oh, okay. oh no. <laughs> I, I can add one. If you go first, you mm -hmm. know, you've got two dice in reserve. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you'll have five dice. Mm -hmm. You could potentially move Prudence with two of those. She can move two, which would get rid of two shadows. And then you have three dice, hopefully, left over to do... Potentially add a darkness card. Add a darkness card. That's, that's a really good idea. Um, why don't you go first? Definitely, I'm going to go first. Can I go second then, Naz? And you hope that the, so this guy won't activate, but this guy will. So you hope yeah. that you'll be able to then strike yeah. and take him out. He, he will be activated on the yeah. next, on the next turn. Oh, because you just skipped yeah. that card. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Then yes, I'm fine with that and I'm happy to take the rear on this one. That's so true. I'll go, yeah, I'll keep my third. Leading the way again. Mm -hmm. No pressure, Dale, but please do something. <laughs> it's guaranteed. Yeah. Two, two bravery, one faith. It is indeed. And I'm going to spend. Spend. <laughs> just <laughs> spend. <laughs> okay. So two fear. Two fear. Over to move to prudence. Move, move prudence two. Can you donate this to me? I can. But I'm going to move prudence two. Sure. One, two. Yes. To dispel both of these shadows. Yes, that's a good use of prudence's card. That's four prudence's card gone. Okay. I'm going to donate this bravery to you, Babas. Cool, thank you very much, Dale. Thank you very much. And I'm going to add one darkness card to the deck. Great. Okay, that could be that, that literally mm -hmm. could be the extra turn we need to have yeah. the better outcome. Because right now, with two down, we have at least the moderate. The, the uh, medium, the yeah, moderate the, the, one. The, yeah. the 4B. Uh, the 4B. But we really need to be going for the 4A, I think. Exactly. All right, darkness, let's have it. As far as the near opponents are concerned, one shadow or a hunter engages Solomon for three. Um, I'm gonna propose that we let the shadow come in and you take the shadow out. Okay. So we just have to deal with the two hunters. We gives us one or two turns to do it negative buff free. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah. The, or the, other, the other option is let him attack and if he does really Badly, we could actually end up getting an opportunity to take them out. Mm -hmm. But as far as the far opponents are concerned, this shadow will yeah. be moving too uh, towards Solomon to threaten him. Okay, then maybe just let this guy attack and hopefully we actually can repost mm -hmm. and take him yeah. down. So, would it be better if I just sacrifice myself then? Mm? I would say so because yeah, we're, yeah. we're not I, in danger. I, I initially thought sacrificing yourself and taking this out was the right way, but I actually think letting him attack might be the way to go, and hopefully he attacks weakly and we can take him out. Yeah. Okay. Because this is—he's as open yeah. as he's ever going to be. Mm -hmm. He's, he's gonna, got a plus one. So wait, he's three. 
plus three. one for ideal range, plus one for shadow. So yeah, five. So five. Five. Oh. I mean, I'm looking at the way up full card. Basically, no, that's no. If no, we have to. If if he attacks with the benefit of being where he wants to be and the shadow, we're not going to be able to take him out. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe the shadow and the card sure. is actually the right call. Mm. Let's do this. Okay, so now we have a little bit of fresh air on the board. So the shadow moves to threaten yep. Solomon, and we get to spawn X. <laughs> Every time. Luckily, no other hunters move. Okay. Uh, right, Baba. Is that me? Yeah. Courage, man. Time to absolutely shine. And yes. Yeah. You get it? We I got, got it. it. Yeah. So this is a fight. Five? Five, five. Oh, yes. Minus one strength. Uh, so this is on five, which is absolutely okay. Yeah. Okay, so fight five. What have you got left? You need to allocate everything before you start resolving stuff. So. Yeah. Let me just re-roll this die then. No. <laughs> Great. So um, I can take a fifth, yeah, yeah, for let sure. Let me donate that to you. I'm going to keep this in reserve. I might as well reshuffle my discard pile because it has uh, the man me manifesting yeah. And you can do courage. that after you do the fight in yes. five, which means you'll get that back. Yeah. Well, into your deck, at mm -hmm. least. Yeah. So, fight five. Okay. Five plus one, six. Yep. Minus one, five. Yep. No other modifiers. Nemesis number. Is a five ten. for ten. Excellent. Oh, yes. Oh, Perfect. yes. So this is uh, D11 that we need from the previous card. D11. Oh, ho, ho. A fatal error. A clumsy attack leaves the warrior open, and Solomon has no qualms about slipping his rapier between the attacker's ribs. With a startled look in his face, he slides to the ground dead. Remove the attacked warrior, and we have new future fights. Yes. Yes. Goody. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Something, something, something for you. I'm gonna um, spend that die to reshuffle my oh discard my pile back into my deck. Good play. Now, what we this is crazy. What we really want is a darkness to encourage that hunter to come at us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we need it actually. We need how many turns do we have darkness cards? Two left. left. Two left. My turn maybe just adding a darkness card no, to no, the supply again. Yeah, that would be good. It's just your turn, and that's it. No, no, but I, I can maybe add another darkness to because I don't have a way to fight right now. Mm -hmm. I would be relying on a talk one, but if I can add an extra card, do you have another fight? Yeah, I've got a fight too. That's that's oh. good, but it's yeah, it's quite demanding uh, as far as cost is concerned. Let's see. Okay. Yep. A shadow yep. engages an adjacent mortal, and oh. that's a shadow near Solomon. So we're gonna have an event card. Oh, do the honors. So, oh, oh, <laughs> one virtue discards Ooh. all donated dice, which is one of mine. I'm going to lose a face. But more importantly, the thing that made me clinch is plus one danger puts us on ten danger. <laughs> the danger goes up one more if we just lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we, wow. we are defeated mm -hmm. in this chapter, is yeah. a better way of putting it. And we would have to then look at the outcome of the chapter. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, <sighs> so... Three hunters farthest from Solomon came. Here we go. Two to engage him for three. Mm -hmm. So he is going to move in. Mm -hmm. He's going to try and engage us for three, four by being out of deal range. And that's it. And then plus a rabble member. Oh, he's putting it on deal now. <laughs> two. So we get six. Six. So we're going to go to D72. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. So it is. Charging in, coming at three with a wild blow. We he's easily cocky. avoid it. We have the option to move or to rip. Now he's got nobody's around. Nobody's <laughs> around him. <laughs> nobody's around him to defend him. We can just take him out. Mm -hmm. I think That's we, it. Yeah. That was it. Yes. That was perfectly timed. The the rapier, right? That is epic. With one darkness card left. That was amazing. That was great that was to add as well. Give us the option. Mm -hmm. Give us the outs if we needed them. So what's the outcome? So the outcome is that we get a pure, a, um, yeah. We need the ultimate outcome. Yeah. So the all four thugs objective complete and one. So we have four, four A, please. Eight. There you go. Let's go. 
so Cain interrogates one of the thugs he has beaten and learns that Van Wey is working with Jonas Hardraker, the fish hawk. He's the captain of the ship in the channel and a notorious pirate Cain hunts for his crimes. They've kidnapped Mary, that's Jack Hollister's betrothed, and mean to lure Jack to his death. And we have an action on this chapter card to lead forward into what would be chapter six now. So at not chapter five, we would we'll actually be... We'll be bypassing chapter five. Mm -hmm. Because of the, what's happened. Because of what has happened. Oh, but we're going to leave it there. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna just that that's where we're gonna wrap up our little demo of Blue Flame of Vengeance. Thank you guys. This this played out we played it before, um, both parts when we entered this without the support of virtues and unhidden and it was such a slog. Um, but we, we had more uh, time to kind of fight back and forth. This one getting that extra hidden attack, getting the jump and only then starting to become surrounded, but getting the opportunity to clear that up, get guys on their own. Mm -hmm. So this one developed yeah. really nicely. I kind of, I find it awesome that we didn't, in the previous time we played, we had to move much more. And we had to kind of run away and, and get around the shelves. But this this time, we could focus purely on fighting. Um, and it was needed because, yeah, I could have added another darkness card, but then we would have started to be in trouble. Ma it was mainly done in our own terms yep. because we began the game as stealth. Yeah, exactly. And uh, given the fact that we got the best ending yep. from the previous chapter, we got courage on mm -hmm. the board. Yep. We had courage on the board. Mm -hmm. So it was relatively on our side, but it w definitely wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. you see. It was thanks to our sleuthing in the tavern. Yeah. <laughs> Loved it. Um, well, look, we're going to very quickly show a couple of other chapter cards and explain a little bit. So if you don't want to know more about what else is in this discovery deck, um, I'm going to ask the guys a couple of questions about what else is in here. If you don't want to see that, now is the time to look away because we did not touch upon so much of this still of the potential stories and chapters about the different characters uh, in the tavern and also where we could have gone. So we're going to take a brief minute to chat about that. If you don't want to watch that, look away now and leave your comments below with what you thought. But we're going to have a little quick chat. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, so in the tavern, who else did we have? What so? The swashbuckler. I never got to talk to the swashbuckler. What what kind of things, without going into too much detail, could I have? Could we have learned about the swashbuckler? Well, the swashbuckler is a rather direct individual that doesn't try to hide his nature. So, without spoiling anything, mm -hmm. he, if Solomon says the correct things mm -hmm. and inquires about the correct subjects, mm -hmm. he will admit things. He might even go over the top a bit yeah he might prove to be somewhat of a challenge mm -hmm. of a different kind that solomon's accustomed to okay however if solomon had the correct information that others might have given yeah. him mm -hmm. without na giving names yeah. here he might have reacted differently okay okay in the first place suitably vague suitably vague <laughs> yeah uh, anyone well anyone done. else like what about what about timmy or the barmaid or any other stories that we didn't explore that you think timmy has a really tragic the envelope. <laughs> oh no what tragic he has a, a really tragic story uh -huh. however and he's one of the townsfolk members that can give you that can give solomon the most valuable info in the game wow and we didn't get, well, we tried to initially, but then other opportunities opened up that were too... No, we've learned that Timmy is the waitress's son, yeah. right? And we've learned that the barkeep mm -hmm. actually cared for them. Yeah. You got something right about Timmy's father, yeah. but there's much more going on, especially after having the barkeep admit... To being in the gang to together, yeah. and the, oh yeah. my God. Um, and in this scene, obviously, if I can grab, uh, let me see, 4A, and can I grab the other sure. four chapters? So to show you guys a little bit of what else could have happened with this particular chapter, if we had gotten to 4B, if we hadn't had such a good outcome, um, we would have had Cain left, oh, sorry, that's, there we go. Uh, having met their match, the thugs back off, but a bystander tells Cain the attackers were Banway's bully boys, a bad lot of pirates and smugglers, and he decides to pay Banway a visit. So this may have him going off on a slightly different tangent to how he would had we been able to dispatch them all. We might be after Banway rather than actually going directly to mm -hmm. Fishhawk. Um, however, things could have got much worse. This actually, when I, because I, got to see this the last time we played and I was super shocked I whenever this happened I was like is, is, is that what just is that what <laughs> happened and I was just like what so if we had failed 
We had Cain is left dazed and beaten in the gutter by the thugs. Local watchmen come by and mistaking Cain for a drunk, throw him in the cells for a night. By the time Cain is released, it's too late. Jack Hollister has been murdered by Banway and Mary kidnapped and taken away on the ship that has departed England's shores. We actually would have just outright failed. Uh, so if we hadn't got enough information about the potential ambush, if we hadn't done well enough in the tavern, we could have left the tavern, been ambushed, had a much harder time, and potentially ended up on a longer trail or the trail coming to an end. It's a brutal wor world out there. Mm -hmm. If you do poorly, you'll be treated as such. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I will say, this is all still a prototype for anyone obviously still watching at this stage. This is all still subject to change. This is not final. Um, the discovery cards, the stories, the elements, how they all interweave together is all things that are going to be worked on over the next few months. We will be doing more of these videos in the months to come and join the Pledge Manager as well and sharing you know, little bits and teasers with you guys. But please, over on Kickstarter, on Facebook, Board Game Geek, or in the comments below, leave your, leave your thoughts on how you thought this was. Thank you guys for sharing it with me. I know having the two game devs here, it's tough for you guys <laughs> to bite your tongue and not tell me <laughs> yeah. things. Um, but in the future, we'll also look at getting other people in to play the game and sharing Solomon Kane with more people so they can give their, their inputs. But at the moment, with us, as we're continuing to work on the game and enjoy the end of the Kickstarter campaign, this is really the easiest way for us to interact and share it with you guys. So I yeah. hope you guys appreciate that. Um, and I thank you guys both because I really enjoyed this. this has been yeah, thank no you very much for yeah. having us. It was really great playing mm -hmm. the it was. Chapters. Yeah, now get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you. See you later.